I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. And as you see today, we have a new microphone. So let us ex see if we can extinguish the light of Allah by using the new microphone. You know, there is a verse in the Quran saying that those who don't believe in Islam, they try to extinguish the light of Allah. And for sure, the smart Abdul, they agree. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. We live in a day and age where people are trying to attack Islam from every angle, hurting all sorts of crazy statements and accusations from their mouth. Allah blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you know, brother and sisters, today we are living in a time where everybody is making accusation against Islam from their mouth. Okay. He live in England, he drive a Mercedes Benz and he called the kuffar they are cows. I don't know if you watch his video. So here we ask ourselves, if Allah don't want us to extinguish his light, he could not find better people to defend his light from those dummies. This is how Allah will stop those who try to extinguish the light of Allah. This is the first question. I mean, what kind of lawyers you have? A bunch of dummies? Secondly, where we can find the light of Allah. <clears throat> what is the light of Allah mean? If any Muslim can help us. The light of Allah. According to Sahih al-Bukhari, Muhammad, when he received the light of Allah, he tried to commit suicide. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari in front of us. <clears throat> that the inspiration stopped when Waraq ibn Nawfal, he died. Right away after he died, the inspiration stopped. And Muhammad became so sad to the point he kept going to the top of the mountain. And he tried to commit suicide many times. Here we ask ourselves, why Muhammad is trying to extinguish the light of Allah. Because if Muhammad killed himself by throwing himself by from the top of the mountain, can Allah turn on his light anymore? Isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad himself is the light of Allah? Siraj and Muniran. So here we see that the first attempt of extinguishing so-called light of Allah is done by the idiot Muhammad. Obviously, Muhammad is taking side with those who don't like Allah and he is trying to extinguish the light of Allah. Otherwise, leave your comment if you are a Muslim after we finish the video <clears throat> and tell me why Muhammad he tried to commit suicide. And each time he go to the top of the mountain, he tried to commit suicide. Uh, Jibreel, which is a weird person, you know, Jibreel, who is Jibreel? We do not know. But Jibreel means they have no idea. 
you know but they copy the name from the bible they say gabriel here in the english but in fact nowhere in islam it says gabriel gabriel it says jibril who is jibril just let it go obviously he stole it from he don't even know how to pronounce the name correctly any name so this guy jibril he would appear before him and he said to him to him habibi muhammad habibi muhammad just relax okay truly 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 you are messenger of allah therefore this man muhammad or qathim he changed his name muhammad to take the place of of christ he changed his name to be the praised one because he's trying to be god in earth so he appeared before him and he says to him indeed you are allah messenger so even muhammad don't believe he is allah messenger if you don't believe in the story in front of you indeed what will stop muhammad from extinguishing the light of allah is a statement from this guy Jibreel. Maybe he's Satan. We don't know. If there's any proof that the Jibreel is Jibreel, the one you call him angel. You know, one of, one of the funny things about the Muhammadan, in the case of uh, fornication, you have to have four witnesses. In the case claiming to be a prophet, you do not need witnesses. Do Muhammad have four witnesses? That Jibreel appear in front of him in the top of the mountain each time he tries to commit suicide. Any witnesses? So in Islam you need four witnesses. And by the way, in case you do not know, in Islam there's a lot of weirdo stuff as usual. Muslim they say things to you like you know Muhammad and they use same words we use as an example adultery. Uh, Islam says we are against adultery, but Islam allow you to marry temporarily women for one night stand or even for travel, they have something called travel marriage. Camp marriage. Road companion marriage. So like let's say you want to go to uh, to China tomorrow and you don't want to carry your heavy duty wife with you or heavy duty three wives you have. So you have one vacancy, you leave that vacancy for the travel. You go to China, you go to the hotel, you tell them I want to have a wife. I will stay here for three months or three weeks. This is halal in Islam because supposedly you choose not to fornicate but to marry. But in reality, it's nothing but a fornication and he will pay her in return. In this mad religion, who they call it, they claim, they try to, to make it religion. They try to make it religion, but it's not. We find a lot of crazy stuff in this cult. As an example, here, if a Muslim woman she has fornication and she is slept she with ten thousand men, as long as she is not married, she is considered as a virgin. Who has not married in their life, they're considered to be virgins, even if they committed adultery or fornication many times. Still, they st they're still classified as virgin. So. The light of Allah, which we are talking about, is a classifying things in a very lighting way. So if you are a woman who is not married yet, and you slept with potato, tomato, Abdul, Muhammad, Ahmad, Ali, whatever, you are, by the light of Allah, you are a virgin. And then someone like Christian Prince, he come and he says, no, let us extinguish the light of Allah. She is not a virgin. Now who will win? Virgin versus non-virgin. Actually, we should add this part to our intro, like uh, this the short part. If a woman, she is single, she have sex with one million men, uh, you know, uh, she is still virgin. So when you hear a Muhammadan, he says you know, a statement for you, you need to understand that the Muhammadan religion, based on the light of Allah, they have different value for the same word. So when Muhammadan, they say gold, it means trash for us. When Muhammadan, they say wisdom, it means stupidity for us. Even though the wisdom is wisdom, the word is a wisdom. I mean, even their prophet, when he tried to get some wisdom, his God, he sent him a dish of wisdom and dish of faith, and he installed it in his chest. And if you ask me, or if you ask them, 
You better ask them, not me. Because only one have answers is the Muhammadan brother. They have the light of Allah. Like Muhammad discovered by the light of Allah that uh, rats, they used to be Jews. Why? Because he noticed that rats don't drink milk, camel milk, and Jews don't drink camel milk. So the light of Allah gave Muhammad an extra vision to understand something nobody was able to discover. How you explain to me such a discovery unless this is coming from the light of Allah? Imagine yourself sitting in that desert in the middle of nowhere. And then you see a rat. And the rat, he come to your milk. He sniff it. He get disgusted. He leave. He don't drink it. Muhammad was a person who is inspired by the light of Allah. So Allah told Muhammad that those rats are Jews who did not like camel milk because it's forbidden for them by the law of Moses. So we can say that this is a conservative rat who follow the law of Moses. He's a rabbi, most likely, you know. So the light of Allah have no limitation. It goes from rats to donkeys to sex, sperm coming from the backbone and the ribs of the women, the backbone of the man. If you piss, you have to shake your penis three times, which is weird because most likely if you shake it four times, it's going to come out. The light of Allah. Um, how we can explain that? What is the light of Allah, Muslims? You see, when Muhammad, he received first time the inspiration, according to Muslims, an angel come to him and he told him, read. Muhammad told him, I cannot read. As we see in front of us. This Jibreel who came to him in the image of a man, he squeezed him again and he asked him to read. And the Muhammad, he says to him, well, I do not know how to read. Here you notice that Allah is trying to turn the light of Allah on, but he is hitting the wrong switch. He is hitting the wrong switch. I cannot understand for a second. Who is the stupid in this story? Allah or the angel or Muhammad somebody saying why I would call when he does not uh, he does it he does hang up and insult and disagree with me first of all this is stupid of you to say I don't hang up and insult of somebody disagree with me I speak to people for two or three hours in one call and I don't hang up on them. But if I notice that I'm talking just to a liar who is just being a liar, there's no, there is no point of speaking to a liar. If I say to you, this verse saying this, and this is the interpretation, and then you say to me, who care? I will hang up on you. Because you should, supposedly you are calling me to prove me wrong. So when I show you the evidence from your own scholars and your own prophet, and then you say to me, I don't accept. So why are you calling me? What is the purpose exactly of you calling me? How I can prove to a Muhammadan that his religion is stupid? Simply, I'm showing you text in front of you. You call me, you say, I don't agree with it. So, so why you are calling me? Who care if you agree or not? Hypocrite, Muhammadan. When they want, they say we believe in the hadith. When they want, they say we don't believe in the hadith. When they want, they say we accept the scholar's interpretation for the Quran. When they want, they don't accept the scholar's interpretation for the Quran. I never saw a hypocrite believers as those people. The Muslim, they say to you, we memorize the Quran. 
We ask them a question about the Quran, suddenly they don't memorize the Quran. They memorize the Quran when they want. They forget the Quran when they want. Who can recite for us the chapter of the breastfeeding for adult 10 times? I want to know who is trying to extinguish the light of Allah which is coming through the nipples of women in this case. We preserve the Quran. We memorize the whole Quran. Okay, just simple, you know, who is going to help me, please? And tell me the verse of a breastfeeding for adult. I want to practice it. I like it. I want to print it on my wall. I am very much interested. So when they want, when they want, they are believers. When they want, they have good memory. When they want, they have no memory at all. So if we look at this story here, when the Quran says that they are trying to extinguish the light of Allah, shouldn't first, first find what is the light of Allah? What is the light of Allah? Who is a Muslim can help me? What is the light of Allah? Hmm? Chapter 9, verse number 32. Would they extinguish Allah light with their mouths? I want somebody to help us and tell us what is the light of Allah. I'm really interested. Is the light of Allah that we can attack the Romans so we can get the blondie girls? Is that what they mean by the light of Allah? Is the light of Allah that a man, he is 54 years old, he go and have sex with six years old girl? Is the light Allah will make me go to my house, to my own son house and flirt with the wife when the husband is not there? Eliza is being a smart person. He's a smart, what you can say. I mean, all of them, they are smart. Let me show you what he said to me. Regarding the 10 time breastfeeding for adult. I mean, look at the, you see, this is why I say when, when, when this verse is made, this God is obviously is not God and Muhammad is the one is making up this verse. How they defend Islam by stupidity. Okay. Okay, okay, I will call a Christian prince and I ask him if I uh, if can uh, breastfeed him, he will say no. Look, are you stupid or what? Are you stupid or what? First of all, what kind of religion say to a growing woman like you to breastfeed an adult? So thank you, Eliza. Eliza is deciding now, she decided to give me her breast. Look, nice people, you know, hippie, voluntarily. And then she is complaining that Christian Prince will not accept, he will say no. So what the point? The point is why you wanna give me your breast? What kind light of Allah is coming through your nipples. Why a growing woman, she go to an adult and she tell him, suckle me. If there is some joy for you from that, obviously there is something fishy. So thank you, lady, for offering me your breast. And uh, you got an answer already. No, I would say no. Why I want to do that? Do you think I'm a kid? I mean, this is, this is accept, acceptable for an infant, uh, okay. Even if a mother, a mother, a mother, not a stranger, she offer her nipple to her son who is a growing man, that is disgusting. That is sick. Why a growing man will do that? So 
She is not a mother. She is not the sister. The guy is a man. He have a beard. Why you want to give your breast? That is the light of Allah we are talking about. So when Muhammad, he says, they try to extinguish the light of Allah, he's talking about his stupidity. And when we reject his stupidity, he claimed that we are extinguishing the light of his God. I mean, do you see how does God light work? And the story get more complicated and more stupid when the angel came to Muhammad and he says to him, read, and this idiot Muhammad do not know how to read. So who is the one trying to extinguish? There's no light at all. Here we go. The angel tried many times saying to him, read. Still, Muhammad cannot read. So Allah trying to turn on the light. This is the Quran, read. And here we ask ourselves, how in the world does God, he is claiming that he have a light, but he don't speak good Arabic. Because when you say to somebody, read, and you did not give him anything yet, you're stupid. You read only if he have a book to read. Have you ever heard of somebody saying to somebody, read? And then we find out he did not give him anything to read. And then we find out that even the, the guy, the other guy, he is illiterate. I mean, how, how this light will function? The guy do not know how to read. In the top of that, he did not give him anything to read. Let us say I'm a person who is very well educated in all languages of the world. And somebody came to me and says, read. Should I say to him, read what, you idiot? Now, if Muhammad, he meant to him to say, read what? That means the angel, Aka Allah, is a stupid because he did not give him anything to read. Here you notice that Allah is trying to turn on his light, but he is hitting the wrong switch. It isn't, it isn't, okay. You know, Allah, he brought a switch, but he did not run the cable for the electricity yet. And there's no light and there's no lamp. There's a switch. So Muhammad is the switch. He is trying to turn the light of Allah. Muhammad, he said to him, but there is no cable and there's no electricity and there's no lamp. Are you an idiot? I do not know how to read. By the way, how is my voice coming with the new microphone? We pray that this microphone not only will extinguish Allah garbage, well, there's no light for Allah anyway, Allah garbage. So I pray that this microphone will bring millions of Muslims out of Islam. We love Muslims, we don't hate them. Actually, this microphone sound fishy. It sounds like a lot of Muslims are listening right now. Wait until they post it in other channels, like in the Chinese, in the Indonesian, in the Malaysian, etc., with a subtitle. Muslims, they will go not. He's right. I do not know how to read. Yeah, it's good mic, because, but you know, but do you know that this microphone made by Allah? Because everything we have is made by Allah. You know. When the Muhammadan try to fool us with the light of Allah, and they come with saying, how oh Allah, he said, that we send down the iron. Look at this, look at this. Allah sent down the iron. You know what? My microphone is made from iron. I can see it. Allah sent it down. But they will not tell you that according to Allah, everything came down, even, even the human being, he used to have feather. We used to be chicken. So Allah, he is the one who sent on us clothes and feather. Is this Quran sent for us really or for the red Indian in America? Because I know that the Indian in America, the Indi American Indian, they have feather as part of their custom. The light of Allah.
Who want to help us to understand the light of Allah? You know, when I was a, was a kid, this is like two centuries ago. First time I did read this verse, I could not understand it. I mean, how this stupid book saying that we, Allah, he sent us down feather. And when you try to read the translation for the verse, and this is chapter 7, verse number 26, they took off the feather. There's no feather there, you know. Here it is, no feather. It's translation. But in Arabic here it says, Quarishan. See it? Feather. You change the translator, you keep changing, 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 you find it's a saying. All of them they are saying almost. I don't, maybe there is one or two have little dignity. All of them, they, they demolished the word feather and they took it away from the translation. I don't see feather. And when you question this for a second, is it true that really Allah, he sent down the clothing to us? How this is can happen? And you, and you want any Muslim to tell me. So when Adam, he was naked, and now he want to have an underwear or anything to close himself. Allah, he sent him an underwear. When Adam was naked, did Allah give him feather? I'm just switching into the translation to see maybe one of them, he have little, little dignity to use the word feather. There's no feather here. It's gone. We have to keep trying. Maybe, maybe once ever we will find one Muhammad and he have a little dignity to translate correctly his Quran. And you know the funny to say, we don't corrupt our Quran. Well, this is a corruption. If Allah say feather and you take it off, this is a corruption. Where is the feather? I'm changing translation one after one. Let us see this guy, Arbery. Maybe we can find something here. Let us see. Ah! Ah! No way! Feathers! Like what? Finally, we found one person. He is not trying to extinguish the light of Allah because all the other translator, they took it off from the translation when it is in Arabic. So do you see who is the one is extinguishing the light of Allah? It is you Muslims. Why you hide it? Oh, because this light here is stupid. So we have to take it away. How we can read to the Christians and the Jews and the Hindus and the Buddhists and the atheists that Allah He sent upon us feather. Anyone here is from Turkey? My friend, do you know why they call you Turkey from Turkey? Because your grand 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 grandfather, according to the Quran, he was a Turkey. And he used to have a feather. So who is the one is a change in the light of Allah? This is the light of Allah, is a stupidity. Arbery is not a Muslim? Uh, how you know? So why the Muslim they put his translation in their website if he is not? Have you ever, can you really believe that Muslim they will put the translation of a Christian prince in their website? Good try. If he's a Muslim and they put him there, that means they are stupid, really, because he got them busted. Do we have any Abdul here? The light of Allah. So Allah, he sent down a garment to cover you and he sent feather and then you tell them, you women give your breast to a stranger.
I mean, do you see the match between the two sentences? One verse saying that Allah, he sent feather. Look how much conservative he is. Feather, garment. And then the Muslim, they say Allah, he sent down iron too. But when they want Allah, he sent the iron because they say scientists, they discover that iron came from the space, which is stupid, by the way, to say. Because most of the iron is exist in the magma of the earth. What space? The space is what we have a little bit in the crust. The huge iron we have is in the magma. And if Allah he sent the iron for the man, as the verse saying, that means the iron came after the man, which but we can't be true because the man of blood is full of iron. A person who have no iron in him is dead. A deficiency of iron will kill you. So how Allah he sent iron to the man and he sent it for what? To kill. Look the light of Allah. Do we have any shake here? Any Muhammadan? If there is any Muhammadan, you want to try my new microphone because I think my new microphone is weaker than my previous microphone. I will tell you why. My previous microphone have a lot of experience in debate because I use it in many debate. This one is a brand new version. Oh, I forgot. It's a version, my old microphone too. Why? Because it doesn't matter what, how long you use it and how many times you abuse it. Because as long it is still a single microphone, it is a still considered version. The light of Allah. However, who have not, who has not married in their life, married, and was not married before. And this is sort of called in Islam as a virgin. So a man or a woman who have not, who has not married in their life. Hold on, I got, a, I, I, I'm going to call my neighbor. She, I, I will tell her I have a good news for you. She is single and obviously she, she go out with a, a new guy every, you know, every few weeks, you know. If she, you can tell she is very virgin. I, you know, I never thought about her as virgin. I will send her this and she will love it. She will write in the top of her door, this is a house of a virgin. Do you know how to make someone happy? Someone sleeping around? That is the good news. You are a still virgin. Called in Islam as a virgin. So a man is sort of called in Islam as a virgin. So a man or a woman who have not, who has not married in their life. They're considered to be virgins. Even if they committed adultery or fornication many times, still, they st they're still classified as virgin you know i like the classification uh, of allah uh, and obviously allah he knows best as usual mm -hmm. a guy from discord he want to debate me oh, okay well let me open my skype then uh, for the guy from discord is that a discord is that a country or something excuse my ignorance from Discord, what does that mean? Tell me, like, uh, anyway. From Discord. Like, where are we, where are you coming from? From Discord. Uh huh. All right. <coughs> Let us open in Skype and see this gentleman who was coming from a country. It's called Discord. I met many people before, by the way, from this country. I mean, they speak different languages, yes. But, you know, I mean, it's a country. Where is the guy from Discord country? 
<clears throat> what his name? I have my Skype open. Discord is an app for people to talk in. Thank you for telling me, man. I do not know that. Uh, is that a version app? I'm just joking, my friend. Come on. It's not a country? Thank you. I thought it's a country. Because he said it's from Discord, so you know what? If there is many countries in the world, we do not know about them. As an example, Ibn Battuta is a very historian, very well-known historian, very decent too. He found an island, but I don't think he could say it, it's Discord. He found an island, all the women there, they have a three breast. And later they discovered that this is true. You know? Yep. And the Arab are so proud about him. He's a decent historian. All the history is there. He found an island, have women, have three. This is one of his lies. I mean, his lies is so big, all of them. But one of the biggest lies, which I remember very well, I could not even believe, that is such a donkey. He can be called a historian for those people. An island have all but women. There's no men, by the way. Only women in this island. Anyone? Uh, why people, they send me messages saying, please help me, I want to learn. Here we go, come here in YouTube. How I can help you, what does that mean? Any Mohammedan? So what is the light of Allah? What logic is that? God, he is trying to switch the light, his light. He go to Muhammad. He keeps saying to him, read. Muhammad, he said to him, I do not know how to read. Allah, he squeezed him again. He said to him, read, man, I'm trying to turn the light on. Muhammad, he said to him, you idiot, stupid. I told you, first of all, Stop holding my nipples. This is not an electric switch. I do not know how to read. And there's no electricity. And first of all, there's no lamp yet. Any Muslim can explain to me how Allah is trying to turn his light on? This is the first time Allah trying to turn the light on. He go to a Muhammad, the one who changed his name to be the praised one. And he tried to turn the light on. I want to know why the light is not turning on. Anyone? Hello? Yes, my friend, are you a Muslim? Are you on live or not? We are live, are you a Muslim? No, I'm Christian, I'm Christian. Oh, so my friend, why are you calling? So I want to tell you something very important because like, you know, the last time I had a debate about it, you lost your mind. And I'm telling you in a friendly way. Mm. Um, you're very knowledgeable, I respect you. Mm. But, but first of uh, all you said you are a christian but this, uh, let me ask you a question what do you think about muhammad give me a second let me pause this because i have two voices what do you say ask again please what do you think about muhammad is he a prophet i mean based on the beliefs they believe that but i mean no, it's this, a big this is you your belief is he a prophet um i don't agree with what he says really i think he's crazy in certain things i mean like you know the, having like this is not the question is he a prophet he prophesized things, but I don't believe in this what he says. This is another question. Is he, a, is he a prophet or yes or Jesus no? Jesus Christ, we start again, mate. You Jesus. see, you are filthy. You claim to be a Christian. You just curse Jesus. Stupid liar. So you lie. You say you are a Christian, but in reality, you are a Muslim. You see why I hang up on people? He just started. He claimed that he is a Christian, and he just right away cursed Jesus. And he refused to say if Muhammad is a prophet or not, either he is a prophet or not. You don't say he prophesied things. Well, 
This is not the question. We know that he prophesied things. I'm asking you, is he a prophet? I repeat the question three times. And this is a warning for any kid when I call me. Don't make me repeat the question because what happened? We keep repeating. Like the last time we have a Muslim, he called me. I repeat and repeat and even the people get bored. I'm not going to repeat no more. I will do it once, twice, three times, and that's it. You don't want to answer? If you are stupid to the point you can understand the question, simple question, is he a prophet or not? I will hang up on you and I will block you. How we can have a conversation with somebody who is not even listening? And how we can have a conversation with somebody is a liar. Why you are claiming to be a Christian? A Christian will never believe Muhammad is a prophet. They are ashamed of their prophet. They hide their identity. Actually, in the other day, I wanted to make a video. There's a guy, he come and he start, start saying the F word to the Catholic. And supposedly he is not a Catholic. He is a Christian, a Protestant. I click at his page. His page is full of Quran. So what they do, they come in the comment section. And they play the game of being Catholic or Protestant. So if there is some dummy between those Christians, they will start fighting. And this is exactly what Islam is about. The Quran says in chapter 5, verse 14, Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment. And there's many who claim to be Christians. They are satanic like Muhammad. Who they love to serve Allah and spread hatred between the Christians. Anyone who do such an act, he claim to be Christian. He is no Christian. He is following the Satan Allah. This is the light of Allah in front of you. You see it? Allah saying specifically to the Christian. So we have steered up among them enmity and hatred. Till the day of resurrection. So a Muhammadan, he will come and he will post claiming to be a Protestant or he claimed to be a Catholic and he will insult the other, you know, church school. And then the other dummies, they will start saying, anyone who starts saying those, you spit at him right away. And admins, I don't know why my admins, they show up only during the chat, but they don't maintain the comment section after we finish because you are an admin you can delete comment anyone he tried to spread the hatred between the christians delete him immediately we don't want those people and mostly they are muslim trying to divide us and actually this is why they don't like me because here they can't play the game of catholic and protestant here allah is not successful here there's the, the garbage of allah is extinguish exactly my friend divide and conquer this why they don't like me Do we have any Muhammadan want to say to us, how come the light of Allah saying he will spread hatred? Anyone? Hey, Valentina, we did not ask you if you are proud Catholic or not. Let me block you or let me delete your comment. You see here, we notice some stupid people. I'm a proud Protestant. I'm proud Catholic. You are a certified idiot. A true Christian, he is proud only to be a follower of a Christ. What proud Catholic mean? What proud Protestant mean, stupid people? I bet you do not even know what Catholic mean. This is how those dummies, they divide us for centuries. Never listen to the dummies. You can only be proud about following Christ. Anything else, that means you are a certified idiot. You don't even know what Christianity is about yet. You are following Allah, the devil. The verse in the front of your eyes.
Why you try to contact me, my friend? I talk only to Muslims. Any Mohammedan? Do we have any Mohammedan? Hmm? We have Eliza is calling, the one who want to do breastfeeding for me. I'm not sure why. Hello? You're talking about breastfeeding. Yes, uh, you are the Muslim Eliza, correct? Do you want me to breastfeed you? No, thank you. I'm not interested. But do you do that usually? Yeah, I say bismillah and then I breastfeed. Oh, okay. How many men do you breastfeed a day? Around 22. Okay. Is that for free, like a charity or for money? It's because we're allowed to. Oh, just because you're allowed to. Okay. Can you explain to us why your prophet allows such a thing? Because he wants us to be happy. Oh, that make you very happy? How would it feel when, you know, like a man, he do breastfeed you? Like a man you never met before, he come to your door and he knock at your door and you give him your holy nipples. Well, do you want to find out? No, I don't want to find out, so I'm asking you. Well, I can breastfeed you if you want. No, no, I don't want to find out in this way. I want to tell you, 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 you how you feel, you, sir. It feels very good. You feel very good. And what is the purpose of this breastfeeding for adult? Well, it lets you sit around with me. Okay, well, this is for you. What about the man? It allows them to sit with me. Uh, to sit with you. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, are you really a Muslim? Of course. Of course. What do you mean, of course? How do you prove it? Ashhadu la ilaha illallah. Uh-huh. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. That's it. You are a Muslim. I, I believe you now. So what do you want to tell us more about Muhammad? Like what make you happy beside the breastfeed for adult? What do you think about Muta? Well, if it's there, then we can do it. If it's there, we can do it. Do what exactly? The temporary marriage. Why they call it temporary? Can you explain? Because it's not permanent. Yeah, so what the point of it? Well, maybe just to have fun. Uh, a little fun. Of course. Okay, did you practice that before? Maybe. And you're not sure? No. No, not sure. Okay, well, I know I, it sounds like you have too many experiences to the point you forgot what you had. What do you like to tell us? What is something, tell us something beautiful about Allah beside breastfeeding and forget about those things because they are very filthy. Is there something like nicer than this about Allah and your Prophet? Mm, I think you know more about it than I do. Okay, well, but I know that he is not good. So you agree with me or you agree with Muhammad? But there's loads of good things as well. But that's why I'm asking you, like what? Be nice to your parents, respect others. Uh, be nice to your parents and respect others. So, like, is it like a sign of respect when a woman, she do muta? Is that a respect? Yeah, because it's the religion. Oh, um, okay. What do you think about Muhammad marrying children then? Is that a respect? What do you think about the rights of children? Do you think a man at the age of 54 should marry someone she is six years old? The times were different back 1400 years ago. Oh, uh, okay. So like what now? The girls, they grow at that time bigger? When they are six, like they are really big and huge? What do you think? I don't know. I wasn't there. Mm. So how you know then? You just said uh, that time is different. So how you know it's different if you wasn't there and this is your logic? Because when I looked online, that's what they said. Uh, so you take whatever they say for granted, right? Not all of them. Not all of them. What, there, there is something you don't like about Islam? Or all of it you like it? Mm, tell me one thing that I wouldn't like. 
No, you. I'm, I'm the one who's asking you if there's anything you don't like. How oh, I know what you don't like? Maybe the six-year-old thing. You don't like that? Maybe. Okay, so I'm not sure what maybe mean. Either you like it or you don't like it. So do you think Muhammad? I'm not sure. I'm uh, not sure if it. So do you think Muhammad was, was maybe maybe he was a perverted man when he had sex with a child? If he did, then yes. Then yes, but uh, Aisha she said he did. So he's yes. So why you why you believe in him then? Why you? Because some people some people say no. Some people they say, but okay, who 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 are those people? Don't we? Uh, uh, who is more? can tell us the truth, the one who was there or the one who was never there. Aisha, she was there and she said that he did marry her at the age of six and he did intercourse with her when she was nine. Not sure. Aisha, she said I that. Do you think, I don't know too much. Do you think Aisha, she did lie? Mm. Well, I don't know. Why mm. would she lie? Okay, so just to be sure that you are not uh, too young, how old are you? I'm 62. You are 62 and you want to, you are calling me to do breastfeeding for me. Is there something wrong with it? Uh, I mean, still you have appetites for men, Look, sound like it. So the agreement is still there if you want to do it. Uh, is, is it for free? Of course. Where we have to do it in the coffee shop or like where? We can do it behind McDonald's car park. Uh, okay, look like you have a lot of expertise. Well, thank you for the offer, 62 years old, decent Muslim women. It was nice to speaking to you. Okay, but thank you. We, right. we, we decline. Okay, but I'm sure right. there's many customers are waiting in the chat data. You know, just thank you so much. Get your luck. You're welcome. For that mercy. No comment. No comment. Oh boy. <laughs> what I would say to the girl. This microphone, the new microphone, I mean, the first one who called me with the new microphone is a Muslim woman offering me her boobs. And she is 62 years old. Who can beat that offer? Publicly. Open invitation. <clears throat> uh, this guy, he keep calling like crazy. Maybe it's ultimate fault. You never know. He is unavailable. He declined. Shall I block you? Why you keep calling me then? <laughs> Why this idiot keep calling me if you don't want to talk to me? <laughs> I he's trying to to drop the call of this women this woman, maybe you know he don't want her to talk you know it's embarrassment so he's trying to stop her from exposing the cult of Muhammad. Uh, hmm. Let us see this person here. <coughs> Okay, call the client. Let me block you all. Anyone who will text me to call him and he will not accept my call, I will block you. So you will never be able to text me. So don't ever do that. Uh, we have a Muslim here, let us see. <coughs>
I'm muting the ring so you guys doesn't bother with it. Hello? Yes, my friend. Are you, are you a Muslim? My friend, I am an ex-Muslim. Oh, sorry, you know, I because it says text me and I see that your name is a Muslim name, so I thought, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 you convinced me that. It's okay, a friendly fire, my friend. <laughs> accept Jesus Christ. All right, uh, so you, uh, yeah, you called me before and you became a Christian, correct? Yes, yes, and I'm from Russia and uh, I, want to I want to congratulate you with your new, brand new microphone. <laughs> No. Well, thank you very much, you know, but we are trying <laughs> to find some customers, as you see. <laughs> yeah. All right, my friend, how is, how is, the, how is the, the, my Russian translation book is spread? What do you think? Oh, it's perfect. You know, I think that um, I already received it from my brothers in Christ in Russia. Mm -hmm. So it is walking down the Internet, you know. Are you, um, are you trying your best to spread it around so people will know about it? Because, you know, if people do not know about it, nobody will read it. Yes, of course. I sent it to my uh, friends and fellow Muslim uh, brothers and sisters, my former right. brothers and sisters, Muslims, All right. well, uh, happy in uh, social media. All right. So now they're going. Okay, my friend. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me today. Thank you. Take care. Thank you very much, right. CP. Bye -bye. God Bye -bye. bless you, guys. God bless you, all of you from USA and from all over the world. I love you. And uh, be with Christ all the time. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Uh, see, I just remember now this person he called me before. This gentleman, he is from. He's an ex-Muslim. He left Islam. He's from Russia. Uh, you see, this is a good thing about uh, uh, in the internet. You know, I, I I never expect myself to speak to somebody who is from the end of the world. And you know, I live in USA. He lived in Russia, and he's a Muslim. And then he left Islam, and then became Christian. And now he is spreading my books. What do you want more? God is good. Let us see this person here. I will call you one more time. If you don't answer, I will block you. Let us see. Hello? Yes, are you a Muslim, my friend? Uh, yes, I'm a Muslim, alhamdulillah. All right. So we are talking about the light of Allah. This is our uh, topic for today. Extinguish uh, the light of Allah. The Quran says they try to extinguish the light of Allah. Oh, because my friend told me that that, uh, that I could join and talk about the Bible. Oh, you can. You want to talk about the Bible? No, I just want to talk about. Uh, I want to clear up a misconception, actually, more than debate or talk about it. No problem. But you That's see, fine. but you see the actually what by mentioning the Bible, you just get us a, a, a good. Uh, let us say, uh, good connection because the light of Allah is the Bible too. Isn't it Allah is the one who sent the Bible? Uh, the, the, the God in the Bible, uh, I mean, if you want to talk it technically, the attributes in the Bible are not mentioned. Uh, in the Bible, it's a triune God in the Quran, and it isn't. But this is not the, 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 what I'm saying now. I'm saying if Allah, he sent his light and the light of Allah, they try to extinguish it. Is it Allah is the one according to Muhammad and according to you, according to Quran, is the one who sent the Bible, the Injil? Yeah, yeah, but that's not the topic I want uh, to, or the question that I'm going to bring up, uh, really, to be honest. Yeah, but you see here, yeah. we have a very weird thing because the Quran, when the Quran says they try to disting distinguish the light of Allah and Allah will never allow it. And then we find the Muslims saying that the Bible is corrupted, but isn't it the Bible is from the light of Allah, supposedly, and the Torah too? Uh, yeah, but I'm, uh, I'm going on the premise that the Bible is true, but I'm bringing you a different uh, question, to be honest, different from the topic itself, because I wasn't yeah, aware so of the topic. Why, why are you not thing? trying to think with me for a second? Uh, you're trying, you are just focusing on the question you have in your mind, but yeah, because, like, uh, you, don't wanna, no, you don't wanna think with me for a second. I'll focus you, because my question is really small and really quick to get okay, over. Okay, go, go ahead. I'll ask you. Yeah. So and uh, so Deuteronomy eighteen eighteen is talking about Jesus, right? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, assuming uh, Christians use this as a way that they prophet that the Old Testament prophesies Jesus, hmm. uh, and that a prophet will rise among uh, among your fellow Israelites, hmm. uh, they, they use this as a way to prove that Jesus will rise as a prophet among the Israelites. Hmm. Uh, correct. Uh, well, for me, correct. for me, my friend. 
the Bible yeah. have have hundreds of prophecies, all of them they fit with Jesus. Yeah. And even if, even if this one is about Jesus or not, that not will change nothing. But go ahead, I'm listening. Yeah, but this one is about Jesus. I mean, uh, the, I'm, the I'm listening. I'm, with... I'm listening. Okay. Hmm. Uh, this one does talk about Jesus, and there are many other verses, as you mentioned, that do talk about it. Hmm. So when but, Jesus but is Jesus, but, Jesus, to... but Jesus is not mentioned by name there, right? Yeah, not by name. Okay. Not by name. Just yeah. to make it clear, so okay, Jesus, continue. Yeah, so Jesus has been prophesied to rise as a prophet among their fellow Israelites in the Old Testament. Okay. So going off this premise, uh, Jesus uh, in the Christian doctrine is a, a prophet, a Messiah, and God, hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, hmm. so in Luke, if we want to go off that premise, in Luke 13, 33, it says, no prophet can die outside of Jerusalem. But as as far as I'm, uh, as far as I'm aware, in Matthew and the Gospel of John, it says that Jesus did die outside of Jerusalem. Mm. What the, I want to clear up that misconception. Yeah, my friend. First of all, out of Jerusalem, there's a, there is the when we say uh, I am from Jerusalem, doesn't mean I am exactly in Jerusalem, uh, because Jerusalem is a city and there is a province of it and whatever is around it. And if you go and see where the cross is located, you will see this is in Jerusalem. So it is inside. Jerusalem in the same time it is not inside Jerusalem which means it's not behind the walls uh, so like there is an area it's called Jahannam Jahannam is where they are used to throw uh, dead bodies uh, even garbage or etc that's what the Quran take from the word Jahannam so but this is this is part of the uh, part of the town and the so same in the, in, the, in, the, in the same time my friend in the same time uh, when the Bible describes Jesus as a prophet, for God is the first prophet. Maybe maybe you do not know that. Do you understand that God is the first prophet? God is the first prophet, yes. Okay. So and, when oh, Jesus is a, when Jesus is a prophet, because simply all the prophecy is coming from God. Yeah. So God he prophesied to his a prophet. The prophet here, the, the the average one we know, which is not God, you know, one like the human like me and you, is the one who's been taught by God. To tell the prophecy which is coming from God, correct? Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay, so what is now? What is it? What's your problem? So the problem here is that you presented me a contradiction, uh, man. Oh. Because when you say he also died inside and outside of Jerusalem, that's when it becomes a contradiction. Because biblically, when Jesus was referring to Jerusalem, he was referring it to, to as a city, not as an area or a region. But in well, the it's, a, it's Bible, a city. It's, when I say when I say a region, my friend, I don't say. I'm not talking about 10,000 uh, uh, mile away. We are talking about yeah. the same city. It's still the same city. But he did outside. No, he died outside no, the city. No, it's not. He did. No, I mean, according to your scholars, he did die outside My the friend, city. Wh whoever scholars, they can say. But this is part of the city. When you when they want to kill somebody, wh wh where the court was? Uh, the court of the Pharisees? Yeah. No, the, yeah, the court uh, of the Roman. This is the Roman court. Yeah. Huh? Uh, inside Jerusalem. Okay, and where he was arrested? Inside Jerusalem, but where and, he died. And outside. where 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 they took him? They took if, him outside Jerusalem. Yeah, if we if we go right they now in the map, them. if we go right now in the map and see what is the distance between yeah. the palace and the cross location, how many hundred kilometer it is? I mean, yeah, my friend, this is a this is a failure. This is a failure attempt. This is a failure attempt. From you. No, but let me speak. I want no, to I'm, I'm to letting you. you to speak. So I'm asking you how far it is from the place where the court happened to the place where the yeah. cross happened. And then we will find a very okay. short distance to the point they are walking, right? They, 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 they took a, a trucks and uh, uh, walk, yeah. they walk, right? So it's a walking distance. Is that in Jerusalem or it is in a different place? Technically, it is not a walking distance. It's not up it's to you. It's not up to outside, you to say it to it's me. Outside this it's not up to wait, you to on. say, okay, I will go with you. I will go with you. It's not up to no, you. No, no, I will, I will use to... your logic. No, it's not up to me. It's up to what the Bible says. It's not up to you. So listen of carefully. Yeah. Okay. So listen. When Muhammad, he says, Allah, he sent uh, Muhammad to Mecca and what is around it. Is Pakistan around it? Is Pakistan around Mecca? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, but okay. is Pakistan inside? Mecca? I will go. No, I will go with your logic, and you are okay. saying to me, if Jesus he died one mile away from yeah. the from the court, that will not make him die inside Jerusalem. But when yes, Allah because... he say, okay, hold on, uh, 
when Allah he said, Allah he sent Muhammad to Mecca and what is around it. Is that make Muhammad bring in a contradiction or confirming himself to be a prophet for all mankind? No, what Muhammad here was using is the language of the Arabs when he was saying around Mecca, but in, oh. in the Bible, so, say around. So when, when well, hold on, okay, wait, wait, here you see the hypocrisy. The here you point, see the hypocrisy. Listen carefully. No, so when, me, when the Quran, when the Quran, look, hold on. How do you know that the Quran is meaning when we say around Mecca, it does not mean around Mecca. It's mean Pakistan. How do you know that? Yeah. I'll, I'll respond to that when you let me respond to the second point that you made about Jerusalem. Mm. So when the Bible says that uh, no prophet can die outside of Jerusalem, you can say that this was meant metaphorically or not not literally, but you have no proof for that. First now, of when all, you my, say that, first of all, my uh, friend, hold on, hold on, yeah. you don't understand the verse. Because if you are saying, do you agree with it that no prophet should die out of uh, Jerusalem? Uh, not necessarily I agree with it, but okay. according to the biblical narrative, right. Jesus is not a prophet, nor he died outside, okay. uh, nor he died. Because can, you read for me the, died, can, you, can you read for me the verses you mentioned? Luke 13, 33. Okay, read it for us. Read it for you, okay, fine. Oh, uh, okay, no, that's Deuteronomy. Uh, in any case, I must press on today and tomorrow and the next day, for surely no prophet can die outside of Jerusalem. Hmm. And what happened? He died, he died outside of Jerusalem. Read the verse after. Read the verse. After it? Yeah, you said you die, he died outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, right? Jerusalem. Okay, did you we ask? Did, the did, you ask did you ask? Did you ask him what is Jerusalem for him? I mean, Jerusalem, according according to you, Jerusalem is also outside of Jerusalem, but I'm saying Jerusalem, Jerusalem is a city. Jerusalem, my friend, you know, you see here, here we see the, 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 the like the game. So when we, want, when we want, when we want, when we want, we understand that Mecca went around it mean even Pakistan. When we want that if a mile away from the middle of Jerusalem, not even from the wall of Jerusalem, that is not Jerusalem. This is your this is your logic. Technically, he did send a message to Mecca and it. He sent a message to the whole world. So there is no problem. No, it in says that here. You send it first. Yes. Okay, I will go with you. Uh, 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 you have your Quran with you? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, when you say that Allah, he sent him to Mecca and to the whole world, isn't it the Quran says we never send a messenger except to speak the tongue of his own people? Yes, to speak the tongue of his own people. Okay. So now we have a verse saying that to Mecca and what is around it, and we have other verse saying yeah. that we never send ever. And this is sent to Muhammad himself, which means Muhammad is included. We never send a messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people, so he might make it clear for them. Do I agree with that? Well, how are we gonna reconcile that with we sent uh, Muhammad as a mercy to mankind? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, are, aren't, people However, of Mecca, when you say aren't, aren't people of Mecca from mankind or they are this different species? Yeah, every everyone is from uh, everyone on earth is from mankind. Okay, but so, I don't know how. So I your answer, like, your answer. Like no, here, here we see, here we see. You are trying to find a contradiction. So if Jesus he die one mile away from the court, that does not make him yeah. die in, in Jerusalem. This is your opinion. Now, when we find the Quran saying that Allah he sent Muhammad to Mecca and what is around it, and then we find the Quran confirm that he never ever ever sent the messenger except. From his people, and look with me, the word people there. He have to be from the people, and he, the message have to be in the tongue of the people. So if Muhammad he sent, he was sent, he have to be yeah. sent to his people, and his people, not even the Arab, they are Quraysh. Yeah. And he have to speak okay, in the I mean, tongue of Quraysh. And here we confirm that Muhammad he claimed that he received seven Quran. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Seven Quran, is that because people of Quraysh, they speak seven, Quran, seven Arabic? No, because people around him were speaking uh, okay. Arabic dialects. So look what happened now. You're a prophet himself saying that even the Arab are not Arab. The Arab, they need seven Arabic language. They are totally different. Seven Arabic because they cannot handle it. If, if it's the same, then why we need to make seven Quran? So now we have a prophet who was sent to Mecca and what is around it. And suddenly... Mecca and around it became Pakistan, India, China, 
Germany for you in your logic. Same time, Allah will never send a messenger unless he speaks the tongue of the people and his people are Quraysh. He is from Quraysh. He speaks the tongue of Quraysh. And now yeah. suddenly that the tongue of his people is Pakistan for you. In the top of Actually, that, this... Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, mm -hmm. when he sent the Quran, he sent it in one Arabic. But he said to Allah, that doesn't work because my people are, they cannot handle it. Which is very stupid to say, and I will let you explain that to me if you wish. If you wish. Okay. So they cannot handle it. So he insists to receive seven. And now we okay. go back to the Bible. So Jesus, he walked 500 meter away or one mile away from the court. That make him out of Jerusalem. Uh, yes. Hmm. How, how that work with you? You see your hypocrisy? Because I'm going by the Bible, biblical verses. No, so both of them, no they are saying the same thing. No, you know, you see, when you say I'm going yeah, by biblical... Okay. No, okay. no, 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 you see, okay, you see, you see here, uh, when, when, when I say to you uh, uh, that the Quran was sent to the people of Mecca and what is around yes. it, in a two second, you switch the world to what is around it to be even Pakistan. I said we could go by that logic and there would be no problem, but you proved that there would no, be a what, problem what, and I'm going to solve it for you now. What logic? Yeah. How, how you solve it? Go ahead. Okay, so when you said, you mentioned me this verse, uh, we did not send any messenger ex uh, except speaking in the language of his people state uh, clearly for them, right? So when you say that, hmm. uh, when when a prophet, when Allah says well, what's around Mecca, Obviously, it would not mean outside uh, Arabia because uh, that would mean that the prophet was speaking in other languages. But reconciling that with this verse, it could mean that the cities around Arabia or inside Arabia because he would be speaking in their language. Now, I want to see you defend the Bible. No, here, now. here, hold on. You see, no, you see, I, I already answer you because you, this is your understanding. It's a silly understanding. It's not true. It's not my understanding. No, this is your understanding. This is your understanding. This is your understanding. Because it's still, this this is, is still, still, this is Jerusalem. Still, this is Jerusalem. Listen, listen carefully. It's not Jerusalem. It is Jerusalem. Because it's not inside the city. Well, the city is not just a wall. I'm telling you. I'm it's telling not up to you. Times, my friend, listen. <laughs> my when friend, you want to defend yourself, I can say now. Listen, I can, I can give, I defend, can give, on. I can give a detail. I say, I can went, I, hold on. I, 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 you're talking. Let me answer you. You said to me, uh, 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 that it says uh, outside, I, I, I will go with you. I can say now I went to Washington, D.C. Hmm? But Washington, D.C. is not just by entering the city. I can be in the border of Washington, D.C. I can be a mile inside Washington, D.C. And I can be in the middle of Washington, D.C. So each one of them, he is giving extra detail. So one is saying that the prophet had to die in Jerusalem. The other one saying, that he yeah. died in in the in in that location, which is still for both of them, okay. Jerusalem. How you're understanding this verse is you're using certain terms. How I'm understanding the verses, I'm going to use the terms by your own scholars and uh, historical uh, narrative. You know, my friend. Now okay. the same. Uh, okay, okay. Wait, let us let, let, on, wait, let, wait, let wait, us make wait, an agreement. On. Let us make an agreement. Wait, 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 let us make an agreement. You make, me and you. you. Make, let you us make, make an agreement. You make my second. I will tell you. I will let you talk. Let us make no, an agreement wait, before we talk about. Before we talk about. Before before we talk about before we talk about scholars. I just want to make the second point, please. Do you agree with the scholars? two points. I will make you make the point before we talk about scholars. Do you agree with the scholars? Do you agree with the scholars? But you cut me off. Do you agree with the scholars? Before no, but we you talk cut about me off, them, before we talk about those who you call them scholars, do you do we agree with the uh, scholars? So if I show you now a scholar, he says something. Do you promise me you will accept? Uh, and need to accept the scholar's uh, statement. I'm just making the, for the. Oh, so you are using anyone you call him a scholar, or anyone call him a scholar. So he don't agree with me, so we okay, use fine. him. Fine, so, let's leave the no, scholars no, out of the No, no, hold on. Okay. You see, you see, here, here, you are being hypocrite again. Either you are a person who agree with the scholars, whatever who you call them scholars, they are, or we don't <laughs> no, agree with them. So I do you that. do you okay. agree with the scholars? <laughs> do you agree okay. with the scholars, or you don't? Uh, I don't. You don't. Why would I agree with them? So why you are quoting me a scholar? I mean myself, I never heard of him. I'm quoting you. I'm quoting the scholars for the audience because those are what the people audience? who understand the My Bible. Friend, the scholar, you and me. First of all, when you get a scholar, for us, we don't have a scholar. We have Paul. 
we have John, we have Luke, we have Mark, we have the disciples. Yes. We don't follow anyone. Anyone, he can say whatever he wants. I can call myself a scholar, you can call yourself a scholar. And here you see the and here you see the hypocrisy. When I mention to you the scholar, you don't want to follow a scholar, but you are the one who is bringing me a scholar to prove but your points. Friend, so how you don't accept I, a scholar, but you are bringing me a scholar? I, I wasn't I wasn't using the scholar's term to prove my point. I'm just saying for the audience that there are scholars who understand the Bible better and than there, me and, and you. There is, and, there is, and there is a scholars. They are laughing at you, and already we answered you. Okay, fine, whatever. Okay. I'm no, not no, what do you mean whatever? What do you mean whatever? What do you mean whatever? When you when you okay. say to me, when you say to me that Mecca and what around it, Mecca and what is around it mean even Pakistan. And then you say to me, a scholar he said, if Jesus he died five hundred meters away from the center of Jerusalem, that, make, that, away. that that means this is a contradiction. That is your stupidity. And let me ask you, does the scholar himself he says this is a contradiction? Does the scholar himself consider this a contradiction? Yes. Uh, not that I'm aware of. So why you are quoting from me a scholar? How he is a scholar? He did not see it as a contradiction. Okay, well, I just look at how the scholars... No, the my verse. friend, did are you quoting me for a scholar? He is seeing this is a contradiction or he is seeing... He is a my friend, my... Listen, Abdul, listen, Abdul. He, he, why you call him a scholar? Why you call this guy a scholar? Whoever he is. I mean, do you want me to not call him a scholar? I would. I don't know. You call him a scholar. Really? Like that so I'm asking you how he earned the title of a scholar. You said to me, I will quote for you a scholar. So he earned the title of a scholar. That's mean he knew what he's talking about, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Probably from so academic. The scholar uh, from academic, he did not see it a contradiction. How the fool you, you decide this is a contradiction? My fool. How did I decide a contradiction? Because yeah. I used my mind and common sense. Okay, and as long you are using you your mind, as long you are using your mind with common sense. Allah, he sent, I never send the messenger except in the tongue of okay. his people. My Listen, this is, this is not your logic now. Don't tell me your logic versus Allah logic. When Allah, he says, we never send the messenger without being yeah. speaking the tongue and have to be from the people. How this verse will fit that Muhammad is a messenger for Pakistan? Go ahead. Your logic, I'm going to hear it. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Uh, but you want to make a difference between a message and the messenger. Uh, sure, we can draw the distinction here. Oh, guys, but I want to make there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a difference between, please, there's a please, difference between respond, message and a messenger. Wait, no, 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 we are, we are talking, respond. we are talking. There, no, no, guys, no, no, let me no, respond. I want, I want me people up. to take a note, no, 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 just no, wait. No, guys, take a note. There's a difference between a message. My friend, my friend, I'm a person, I'm a person, I focus in details. So you said, you just said, you will talk, I will tell you. I have a question for what you said just right away, right now. You said there is a distinguish, you just said, let me talk, answer the question. Let me give you the question, let me give you the question. How you answer before the question comes? So how the how they distinguish between the messenger and the message? I am not done speaking. You need, I was going to answer your question, I will but you not cut me let off. you continue. Not, not you see, for me, I, I am focus in details. I am, I am there from others. You I am know not that. speaking. Indian boy, I'm, listen, as, I'm, I'm asking speaking, you. My friend. I am not you done just, speaking. You gave me information. Wait, I want you to explain it to me. Wait, I don't wait. I am not done speaking. I did speaking. not understand. Wait, wait. Listen, I want you to explain. How we can distinguish between the messenger and the message. Go ahead. Okay. If I will explain it if you let me speak, okay? Go ahead. The first point, that, which is I, I, I just recently made, and the second point, uh, before I no, start No, 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 stop with the first one. Then we go to the second one, one by one. How we can distinguish Wait. between the message and the messenger? How do you get to make two points, but I don't? One by one, you have to explain to me. I did not understand the no, first point. You, you are the teacher. You are the, you are the teacher. You made a poo, poo You just made a poo, poo and you don't want you want to cover it. So before but, you go listen. to point number two, we will go. We have time. I will stay with you until tomorrow. So the first point you made, can you please explain it to us, please? You are the genius. How we okay, can distinguish? Do, how we yeah, can yeah, distinguish sure, sure, between sure, the sure, message sure, and the sure. messenger? Go ahead. Sure. Before I do that, you keep deflecting your arguments against Islam and not actually defending the Bible. Second things, the message uh, can be understood by a lot of people. But the language it has to be, uh, to be spoken on, yes, when you want to send a messenger to people, of course, it has to be the language you're speaking in. You're not going to send an English-speaking messenger to an Arabian city and speak uh, English with them. No, you're going to send an Arabic uh, uh, message that can be understood by all, ca all, all mankind. Mm. Why? Through different means. Why? What do you mean? Why can it? 
Why you can it send be Arabic. Did you just say you, you should send a message yeah. can be understood by all mankind? Yes, a message can okay. be understood. So how a person who do not know Arabic, he can understand when the Quran make it clear that we order we to make it clear for them, we are sending it in their mess, in their language and the prophet himself, he have yeah. to be from the people. That's why I made a distinction between the message and the messenger. The message can be understood through different means. It was never, uh, uh, how do I say it? So it was never limited to one language. It was translated to other languages. Is that, too. What, is that, what, have, is that what the verse saying? Well, the verse saying is that we are going to send a messenger to people speaking their own language. Yes, and that verse what, has, what did is, not disagree. What is that, what is that language? Uh, it could be any language the people are speaking. You are a liar. We're going to send a message. You, you, are, a li you are a liar. You are a, prof you, you are a professional oh, liar. Is it the Quran says we send it as a pure Arabic? I'm telling you about this verse and but, the message. Yeah, Listen I, you, to me. I ask you what I is the language. You are, I ask you what the is language. the language of the message. You said to me it can be translated to any language. Well, the language of but the Quran the, is but Arabic. The Quran, course, no, but it's, not, me it's the... not only the language of the Quran is Arabic. It's not that you are a, you are a fraud. It's, it says it clear here. We send it what? with the Quran have no foreign words in it. Quran and Arabian, Chapter said that. 39, verse number 28. So you just but, say to me, you just say to me uh, something, you are making fun of the Quran. You are ex extinguishing the light of I'm Allah. Not. Look what happened. So now we I, have we have differentiate between <laughs> the message and the messenger. Shut up for a second, please. And I will let you talk. And we will talk to both of us. <laughs> okay. So we distinguish between the message and the messenger. Okay, let us distinguish. But the verse saying. We will ne we never send a messenger except from the people, from the people. Why? So he speak the tongue of the people. So now we have connection. We can yes. separate them. So the prophet have to be from the people because he should speak their own origin, clear language. Of course. Yeah. Of course thank yeah. you. And then and then when I ask you how that will work to be for Pakistan, he said we can translate. Yes. But the verse says, no, yeah. Allah will not send the messenger <laughs> to a people. Listen, let us connect. He will not send the messenger to any people, except if he is okay. from the people. Does it say that or I'm making things my up? Friend, my friend, what I said, that we're not going to send a message to any people, but unless they're going to speak that language, I said, depends on the language these people speak. If God wants to send a, a message to Americans, he would have to speak English. Of course, I'm not okay. disagreeing with So did Allah, send the However, did, Allah, the message. did Allah send Quran to people of Pakistan in their language? <clears throat> uh, uh, no, but it's not limited to Arabic. It can be translated. Hold on. The message. You see, you, I don't know who is the stupid here. You call me and you suppose you are smart. And now you are making bigger uh, yes, people. So hold on. Where here it says, where here it says that when Allah he said we never send, that's mean never, never, never happen. Even for Muhammad. Never. Never send. Are you to, reading the verse? Hold on. Yes, I'm reading the verse. It's talking about a messenger, not the message. No, he's Open talking about eyes. the message and the messenger, and you are a fraud. It's in front of you. <laughs> okay, no, read it. Okay, can you read it for us? Can you read, the can you read it for us? Read it. Go ahead. Okay, and we did not send any messenger except speaking in the language of his people to state clearly for them. And Allah sends astray there by whom He wills and guides whom He wills, and He okay, is wonderful. exalted in my life. Okay, so yeah, it's talking about when, the, when the messenger he spoke the message, did he speak it in the language of the people? Yes. To make it what? To make it clear. Do we agree? Yes, to make it clear. Okay. So if when Muhammad he spoke in Arabic, he made it clear to the Arab, but he did not make it clear to the Pakistani. Yes, but we can make it clear to the Pakistani by okay, translating Okay, so you are message. saying now that you are fixing the logic of Allah. Allah was a I'm not fixing the logic. No, but, okay, but you just said we. No, we I'm not telling you. You that. just said. You I'm, just I'm said. You, you just can't. said. You just said that Allah. You know, you are. You are not only make, making fun of Allah. You are saying Allah is not God. He's a liar. Because you just said we will make it clear to the Pakistani. So look, but the Quran saying Allah will but never Allah send the message. He's making it clear for the, the Arab. The one who yeah. said. The one he's who making said. Making it clear for the Arab. To the Arab, exactly. Are you an Arab? Yeah, 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 exactly. So are if you, he's making you, it clear to the Arab, what prevents Arab? us to translate the message to Are you an Arab? Yes, I'm an Arab, alhamdulillah. Speak to me in Arabic. Uh, what does that mean? 
It means it's uh, peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I mean peace upon you. Peace, upon? peace be upon you. Yes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I mean uh, peace be upon you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So listen. Uh, but this is not a man. You don't speak to me in Arabic. Uh, can you talk to me in Arabic? I mean, this one, this sentence, anyone know it? Shaykh Barak. Alhamdulillah. What are you doing? I'm talking to you. What are you doing? I'm not working. I'm in the middle. I'm 17 years old. Ah, okay. This is a little girl. So listen. No. So, so as long you are a sagir, not big, uh, when Allah okay. He said, when Allah He said, we never send a message except to the by the tongue of the people. Yeah. He, he mentioned a messenger. He, he mentioned the word a messenger, and the message and message is the messenger too, because the messenger he will deliver a message. That's why he's called a messenger. Don't you agree? Yes, he's saying a messenger will speak the tongue of his people. Yeah. Clearly so for when, when it See says, okay, so, so did Allah send Muhammad speaking the tongue of Pakistan? Obviously, you agreed. You said no, right? Yeah. And you said, we, this, and you said, and you said, that, and on. you said, we will make it clear. You said. I said, we will make the message clear. Yes. Okay. So it's not Allah. No so it's that. not Allah who made it clear. It's not Allah who made it clear. Yeah. You said you, you will make it clear. He made it clear for the Arabs, for us, and it's my duty to spread the religion, yes? No, this is not the case. It says here, who is, it is who, my duty. Who is the one, hold on, hold on, who is the one who will make it clear to the people, Allah or you? In this verse, Allah will guide whom he wills, yes. This is not the question. Who what? is the one who will make the message clear, Allah or you? Depends on the decree of Allah. If he wants to make it clear for them, he would, but am I... That is depending on the decree of Allah. The okay, the decree of Allah is in front of you. Allah, he sent that. He said, I will never have an exception. This is a decree, correct? Allah never said he will never have an exception. Well, the front of you read it. It says we never have sent a messenger ever. We did not send any messenger except in speaking the language of his people's state. So this is his decree. Yes. His, decree is, his, de his decree is that the message have to be in the language of the people and the messenger have to be from the people in order to what to make it clear to them them who those who speak the language correct of course if someone wants okay. to read the arabic or uh, no it's not of course if somebody wanted the arabic this is what it is so now allah he confirmed them which means anyone he want to send him a message whoever them is he will send through two ways Number one, the messenger have to be from the people. Number two, he have to speak the language of the people. It's not you who will make it clear. No. And uh, by the way... Yes or uh, no? What do you mean? I did not see you. No, uh, I agree with you. And by oh. the way, I'm just going to make it clear. Yeah, but, that, this, but, this uh, is, but this means what you said to me is a fraud. Okay, and now let me ask you, as long you can make, no, the, Quran, I, as long you can make the Quran clear to us, can you explain to us chapter number one, verse number one? Chapter, sorry, uh, chapter of Najim, verse number one. One, number one? Yeah. Surah Al-Fatiha, you mean? No, Najm. Surah Al-Najm. Okay. Mm. By the stars when they fade away. Okay, what does that mean? Explain it to me. By the stars when they fade away, when... The stars fade away from the sky. What does that mean? Uh, you're asking me to give you a meaning of something so simple. You like see, it's, you're you're okay, me to guys, you. it's so simple. Didn't he just say so simple? Okay, so simple. What does it mean? It means the stars will fade away. What does that mean? What, what does, what does, okay. So you want me to define when the stars fade away? When you look at the what sky. Stars, have you yeah. ever heard of a star fading away? What does that mean? In Arabic, first of all, it when says, star fades you, away, you, they claim, yeah, you, you away, claim to speak Arabic and you don't. When Najmu ida hawa, hawa mean fell down. Oh. No, it says, it, 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 your fellow is let, neither misguided let the, nor... Let the, let, the guy, no, I mean, let, let the guy next to you speak to me. He's, I mean, maybe he's a smarter. Let him help. Let him join you. 
Uh, he could call you if he wants. He's from a different uh, side. But to, uh, in the translation, it says, by the stars when they fade away. I never read the Arab. Okay. okay. But so in other translations... So, but says, hold on. You are the one who said to me, you are the yeah. one who said to me that we Arab, we can make it clear to them in Pakistan, right? Uh, yes. Can okay. I gave you just a little... I gave you three words. And you failed. Yeah, but that's not the whole thing. Huh? You're, uh, you're showing one part, but I'm asking you in the message as a whole is submitting to God. No problem. And that is if the first sentence you could not understand, we can go to the no, second one. Understand. But how we can go, like, I mean, shouldn't we open the door of the car before we start driving? You fail to but, open the, 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 car, I... the car of the. So, oh, listen. So, I ask you, when Allah he says, najmu idha hawa, what does that mean? You have no when idea. Huh? No, you asked me. You yeah, told totally. You told me to read the verse, and I told you when the stars fade away. Where, I do understand where it, what it says. Means. Where it says it when, when the, the stars, stars fall down. Where it says in Arabic when the stars fade away. I'm asking you where it says that. But that's in what the, the translation. What, trans what, what the word how I mean? You see, okay, hold on. Okay, you didn't guys, ask me. You guys, didn't ask hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you just said, you just said this is what the translation yep. saying. So you could not understand it in Arabic. So you went to the English to understand it now. No, no. You asked me to read it. You didn't tell me to read it in Arabic. I'll I read it in Arabic. You, uh, no, it I asked you what it does it mean. I did not ask you to read it in any language. I said, what does verse mean? I said to you, go to chapter and Najm, verse number one, and tell me what does it mean. So now you could not understand it in okay. Arabic. So you went to the translation. I know I know what it means. I literally told you what it no, means. No, you said to me when stars away, you, you told me when the stars fade away. There's no such thing there where it says they fade away. What the word? What the word how I mean? It could mean uh, disappear, or it could mean descend, or it could mean fade away. Ah, how I mean this uh, mean this uh, uh, went away? Uh, how I think uh, way I use means disappear. <laughs> so listen, so look what happened now. Yes, we can explain the Quran to people who they are in Pakistan. Because we understand the message, yep. but we could not understand two words in the message. No, we don't understand it. How can you say I don't understand it? I okay. just told you what it means. Okay, hold on. Are you are you saying that your God Allah did lie? Yeah, no, he didn't lie. Okay, so when Allah he said nobody understand the Quran save Allah, are you saying to me that you understand the message when Allah is the only one who understands the Quran? Uh, no, Allah says there are verses which he only understands. Okay, why only him would uh, understand? Because they were supposed to be revealed at uh, uh, Judgment Day. Oh, but he revealed it now. Uh, they, they, we call them with the shabihat and this is not something we deny. Okay, uh, my friend. Yeah. Allah, he said, I never send a message except by the tongue of the people to the people in order to make it clear. And now you are saying to yes. me, Allah, he sent the message, it's not a clear. No, he sent a message that we're not supposed to know the meaning of. There is a difference. Hmm. There is a part of the verse where, where, it's where, it, where it says, to... where it says, this verses we understand their meaning in the judgment day. Can you show me? I want to learn from you. We will understand the meaning at judgment day. Yeah, you just say that to me. I might be wrong, but that's what I heard. So, are you wrong or right? Uh, that uh, we, uh, we, what I'm not wrong me, about are you giving that, me a fabricated answer because when you say I might be wrong you, that's mean you are answering without knowledge uh, not necessarily what does that mean I just want to confirm my, I want to just want what, to confirm what does my that knowledge mean? not what necessarily I, maybe the bend this is your answer no I just I said so I want to confirm says, my knowledge and look what, the, look what the Quran says just to show you that you're ignorant like your prophet it says and those who they are the ulama hmm those are the one who say we believe, not the one who understand. Sorry, repeat that. I was looking for the evidence. The verse says, and none knows its interpretation save only Allah. And those firmly noted in knowledge, they say we believe. So a Muslim scholar in Islam is not the one who know the meaning, is the one who say I believe. Yes, but I'm telling you, there's... So you are now uh, a scholar. Hold on. Look, well, look what happened. When we spoke about... You, you mentioned to me scholars. And I asked you, is a scholar, is somebody who knew what he's talking about? Yes. You, hold on. You said to me, a scholar is someone who knows what he's talking about for sure. I said, wonderful. 
But now in Islam, you are a scholar, you as a scholar, because you do not know. This is what the Quran is saying. Yeah. Those who they are firmly Listen, in knowledge, those who they are firmly in knowledge is the one who say we believe, but we do not know the meaning. Bro, listen, that's all what I'm saying. I'm telling you there are verses where I'm with the where only Allah knows the meaning of. It's not that he sent it to confuse us or anything. He told us that only Allah knows the meaning of. He told us that only him knows it. He's not okay, okay he hold, on, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. You see, when I, when I mention to you that Allah, because I'm trying to make you, I'm, I'm trying to help you to understand. When Allah he says, we never send the message, message except in the tongue of the people. And then you said to me, you continue reading the second part, and you said, and yep. Allah, he deceive who he will, and he guide who he will, correct? Uh, which verse? Chapter 14, verse number 4. Misguides who he wills, not deceives. He, he what? He misguides who he wills and he guides who he guys, wills. Guys, he misguides. He corrected me. Thank you for correcting me. My my Arabic is not good. Thank you. So, guys, he misguided. He did not this de this de de deceive. So now we knew why Allah he sent the Quran. Allah he sent the Quran to make it clear to them. In order to deceive them. As he will, mm -hmm. and to guide them as he will. That's so, that's only your conclusion so, so of it. Not, this is not my opinion. The verse saying that. You are the one who That's said you are the, you are the one who you, you, you are the one who jumps a portion to correct me and you said to me no Allah he don't deceive he misguide what does that mean no. deceive I, I'm telling you my friend is that Allah can do whatever he wills I don't deny that however you asked me about these mutashabihat verses I telling you Allah did not deceive us there did not confuse us no, he no, told no. us that these verses okay. he only knows them like alif lam mim Ah, ah, okay. No, I get it. Alif, lam, meme. Ah, okay, okay. But this is not the question now. Listen, I'm connecting the two together. No, this is the question. When, when Allah, when Allah, he misguided. You are the one who used the word misguide. You are the one who corrected me, correct? You said misguide. Uh, that's what the verse says. He misguides okay. whoever so, he was. According yes, to uh, you, I am misguided, correct? According to me, it's mis uh, misguided. That's what the experts who translate the Quran say. No, no, according to you, I am, I am, I am misguided, correct? According to me, you are misguided? Yeah. Uh, I do believe so, you are misguided, yes. Okay, but according to you, the one who misguided me is Allah. No. You are the one who said to me, the one who misguided is Allah. Allah misguides who he wills. Allah, yeah. there so is what no are you saying to Allah me? Will? Are you saying to me, uh, Allah, it's not Allah will who mis misguided me? No, I'm telling you, Allah misguides who he wills. If okay, he wants so to I'm misguide, you, when he will I am, do so. If I am misguided, who misguided me? If you are misguided, who misguided you? You, my friend, there is no Allah misguided. There are certain people who Allah who will misguide, as it says in where the verse. Where in the verse it says, where in the verse it says, there are certain people left, it says, there is two people misguide listen, who potato, he will. Listen, potato, listen, it says Allah he misguide according to you misguide not deceive who he will and guide who he will. There's no third party. So the whole world is between two. Either the one misguided by Allah or the one who is guided by Allah. Are you against the verse now? Listen, listen, ever heard of the analogy that I can lead a horse to a puddle of water, hmm. but I can't force the uh, horse to drink water. No, That's you can't. The best no, you can. Can no, you can. You do not know your religion. Obviously, you have no idea what are you talking about. When a person yeah, he I'm have when a, is, when a person what it when, is. A, when a person he have sex, did he choose to have sex and fornication? Is it his choice? Uh, yes. So your prophet he did lie because your prophet and I put the hadith for you in the screen. No, I did not lie. Had, I believe in compatibilism. It says if this is about nation and uh, free will i know i believe in compatibilism it's both by the the decree of allah but that's a different topic no it's not a different the topic because it is, is the one who did uh, this is a very important topic are you saying no, to me that the one who do pornication only is that one is uh, for sure misguided by allah uh i again i said i do believe in compatibilism and that's not the topic we have what is compatibilism? Away what does that mean i'm asking you the one who did fornication Please, I it want means an, when, no, I, it want, means an, I divine, want an answer when a person uh, commit fornication. Is that because Allah, he forced him I'm or gonna it was his choice? You. I'm going to explain it to you. It's okay. when the person's free will is compatible with God's divine determination. So when we believe that everything is determined by Allah, but we believe that is compatible with our 
uh, uh, free will. What does that mean? Like you want me to go over a philosophical study of compatibilism? Well, you know, you, because I, 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 can I, tell I told you, you that, that I can tell you are a philosopher. So uh, when, uh, to, just to make it simple, you are genius, my friend. So when somebody had sex with women, she is not his. Did he have a free will to do it? Yes. What is the proof? The proof is the, like from the Quran. I have a front in front of you. I have a proof in front of you. Your prophet yeah, explained. I told you, I do we, we in the Islamic doctrine we do affirm compatibilism? This is not true. I don't see the there. This is not. This is not true. You are a liar. Your prophet saying, no. "Verily, Allah have fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in, in which he has of necessity must commit." Does it say you cannot com you commit or you must commit? He, yes, he is not asking you to commit or not commit. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. I don't get the question. He is forcing me. you to commit. Is that correct? He is forcing you. Necessity must commit. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, Does it say must commit? I told you. Does it say must commit? I told you I believe in divine. Uh, I don't care who you believe. Your prophet, your prophet is talking. You shut up and you respect him. He said you must commit. Explain to me the must commit part. Oh, you're quoting a hadith, right? So uh, okay, can you repeat that? So, I wasn't paying attention. Sh shall I shall I quote you, or not quote Muhammad now? You are the prophet. No, no, you're quoting the hadith. I want to know what the hadith says because I didn't uh, hear it's you. It's in front of your the screen. Go ahead. No, I'm not looking at your uh, stream. I was just I'm I'm looking at you calling. I now. just read it for you. Look on the screen. Why do you not look? Okay. So you can see it. We Wait, don't want you. I'm not on YouTube. I'm not on YouTube. That's why I don't see the the, the screen. Okay, it says really? verily Allah Muhammad said, verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. The adultery of the eye is lustful look, and the adultery of the tongue is lichous speech, and uh, the heart desires and ears which the parts may or may not put into effect. Hmm. So. No, as of that hadith, uh, I cannot explain it to you because I myself, I don't think I can give you a, a, an answer. I don't want to give you the wrong answer or anything. Okay, take care. You just gave me the wrong answer already, and now you don't want to give me the wrong answer because we got you busted. So look at those liars. When they want, there is a contradiction. When they want, there is no contradiction. When they want, the Quran is clear. When they want, the Quran is not clear. When they want, we can explain Islam to you. When they want, I'm not sure. When they want, I de it depend. When they want, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe, oh, the Prophet said. Oh, okay. So, unbelievable, deceiving cult. When you're a Prophet, he explained what he meant in the Quran. And this is in a clear Arabic, and you claim you speak Arabic. And then now, after reading it, you do not know what it means. How come suddenly you jump to be a, a, a potato? You do not know what that is. It's, it's very simple. It says necessity, necessity, must commit, must commit. When I say to you, the Quran says, Allah deceive. You said to me, no, misguide. That's genius. People, Allah don't deceive. Allah, he misguide. And then he say, am I misguided for you or not? They say, yes, Allah misguided me. He says, not, no, you misguided yourself. But the Quran says different. The Quran divide the whole earth into two group. One is misguided by him and one is misguided by him. Let us take another Abdul. Maybe this guy is a smarter. Even though I'm losing my voice, <clears throat> but it's okay. Hello? Wa alaikum as salam. Tayyip. So I would like to talk to you about the Trinity if that is possible. No problem. Do you don't have any comment about what we are talking about? Not specifically, but if why you not? want, because we could. Why not? You don't give us like just your opinion about what uh, your friend 
Your brother, he said. There's a purpose to ask for why I joined. The purpose was not to come here and stand on my friend. So we could talk about the Trinity. Why, why, just... why Muslims always want to open topic? You want to talk about anything <laughs> except the topic? So, first of all, I didn't agree with my friend to talk about, uh, to, I, I, I didn't tell him to choose that specific topic, all right? Okay, when what's, I'm joining so here, why, 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 why you don't make a comment, my friend? I, I don't, I we, don't will share go, the we will go to your topic. No, I don't share the essence, listen, I don't share the essence of my friend the same way your, your God does with three people, all right? So now. What do you mean you don't so, share the essence so with three people? What three people? I, I, I don't share the essence of my friend, unlike your God, right? Your God literally has. <laughs> Three, dis three distinct hypostases, yet still shares one essence, right? So, if you want to talk about the Trinity, we can. Did you lose your tooth because somebody before you, before me, his name is a Christian prince too, he broke your teeth? Allah, Allah, okay. Because so, you are talking you wanna... like a child, and I okay. can tell you yeah, lost your teeth. Talk about the Trinity. I can okay. tell you, you lost you can... your teeth, and I want to know why, okay. you are, why you are trying to avoid. We can talk about the Trinity, I promise you. I promise you, I <laughs> All promise right, you. Because I didn't Why you don't tell me? About... Why? What's wrong? I mean, you aren't a Muslim. You said you didn't agree with him. So you were listening to everything. When, when did I say, hold on, hold on. listen, listen. I, I came here to talk about the Trinity, right? Why, I don't why share you don't want to talk? I don't, I don't why share you don't the talk? essence of my friend. Okay. There, so a... I don't think, are you, wait, wait, I don't are share you saying, the essence of my friend. Saying... I don't take accountability for what he says and what, or, and what he does. I don't share the essence of my friend with two distinct You don't share the essence of your friend. Hold on, hold on. So do you share the essence of your prophet? No, I don't because we're do you two share the, Do you share the essence of the Quran? No, I don't. So what do you share? Things. What do you share exactly? I have my I have my own essence, but let's not deep. You have your own essence, it's, but this is against Allah, isn't it? Allah is the one who says He is the one who guides and He is the one who misguides. So you are saying to me, you are guided, but not by what? Allah. Wait, 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 wait. One second. Are you saying that if I if I have my own essence, an essence is, is something to, to know and, and to, are, are wait, exactly. I'm a human, human, right? I have okay. my own soul, right? So you, do I have an essence? Prove to me Hold that, on, bro. You prove are to me really that you have a soul. Here we go. You don't have a soul. You are running prove away. To me? Your soul is run away from your body. You are okay, running so are you away from a stupid, stupid errors in the are you, an atheist? you don't want to talk about no, it. No, you are theist, so you are from the soul, but listen. Stick to the what soul. Look, you said to so, me, you understand the soul. What soul? Okay, mean? listen. What soul listen, mean? What soul mean? Listen, listen, the one who want to explain to me a listen, soul. Listen, man. I'm not. You, I'm not your average. Do you debater. know? Let's you are not my average. You are higher. I'm asking you now. You Allah, mentioned the word. Okay, you mentioned okay. the word soul. What soul mean? Okay. So. What soul? <laughs> what soul mean? I didn't mention it. You said my soul you is running out of my No, body. you mentioned. You are the one who mentioned soul. I I am my soul. Okay. So I'm asking you, what soul mean? What soul mean? What do you mean, like the, the, the linguistic meaning of soul? Yes, what is the, what the meaning of soul? When Why you say, would I have to tell you the linguistic meaning of a soul? You have to tell me, I, I want to learn from you. You are here because you're a genius. You're calling to I spoke to you. Wait, friend, wait, wait, stop being, my friend, stop being a clown. Is it your God who said that okay. even Allah a soul, not, a soul, okay, okay, are, okay. A, a, soul? A, soul, a soul is an immaterial essence. Immaterial of essence? No, no, it's, it's not of an essence. It's an immaterial essence. Immaterial essence. What is that? Yes. Is that from the Quran? No, that's not. No, no, that's not. That's the English definition of. I want soul. you to give me an answer based on your religion. Wait, wait, bro. Why? Why are you? <laughs> is it true? Is it true? Why are you running away? Is it true that your prophet you, himself? I, I want to wait. Listen, is it true man. That listen, your I told you. Himself, I told you. I want to hold on. I told you. Let's talk about the prophet, You are telling me God, now. We talk I'm about asking the soul? you. Is it true that your prophet do not know what the word soul means? When? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God! Where did he say that? In the Quran. Chapter seventeen, verse number eighty-five. Chapter 17, what? Verse number 85. Okay, yalla, hala lan shuf. Okay. 1785? Mm-hmm. Okay, bismillah. Because remember, you are the one who know what soul mean, but your prophet do not know. Okay, so, okay. Go ahead and read the soul for me, please. Uh, I said, uh, go ahead oh, and read Like your prophet, you're here, go ahead. Wait, wait, listen, man, stop, stop throwing insults. I'm telling you, I'm asking you to read it for me. How, right. how, how, how are you? How are you supposed to be a debater, but you cannot read a verse for me when I am looking at it? See, well, how I, I, I can I'm, be a prophet. I don't. I don't even, how I'm, I can I'm, be a prophet, but I cannot read a verse. Oh my God! Don't okay. say, "Oh my God!" So, so am I Allah? Okay. Okay. Allah is identical to God, unlike the three distinct. <laughs> Allah is identical to God. Allah is identical to God, guys. Listen to this. Allah is identical to God. Yes, because so God is Allah. So now we God. have two identical God. What? <laughs> you said to me, Allah is identical to God. Okay, okay, okay. So, so, okay, so, okay. So, it says here, mm. uh, Prophet, they ask you about about the spirit. Say the spirit is a part of my Lord's domain. You have you have only been given a little knowledge. How does this prove that I that, that we don't know the meaning of soul again? Because it says well, little is, knowledge. What is the answer? They ask him. They are asking Muhammad. Muhammad asked his God. His God told them, you know nothing. 
That, that's yeah. a stupid answer. No, he didn't Even say Allah, that. Even Allah, you do not know. Okay, so what? No, no, no after this verse. They were after, asking him. They after were this asking, verse. Okay. After so, this verse. So, Abdullah bin Mas'ud, okay, al- al-Bukhari, al-Bukhari, he recorded in, in, right, when he was writing, when he was commenting on this verse. Hmm. So he said that um, Ibn Mas'ud asked him about this verse specifically. So people started asking him specific questions about the soul and whatnot. Hmm. The thing is that soul, the, the soul is from the ilm al So there's certain things we don't know about the soul. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling him that we, that there's, that humans can only understand and get a limited amount of knowledge. How does that imply that he's calling him stupid? Okay, let me show you how, how the, not, not they are stupid, he's stupid. Because they are asking him to know, and now he is saying to them, you do not know. But well, this is not the question, the question no, 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 I'm wait, asking wait, wait. you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So he doesn't say, it doesn't say he doesn't know the meaning. And I, I don't know why you're deviating to the soul. So what I told is the you, meaning? Okay, hold on. So they asked Muhammad, yeah, they asked Muhammad, yeah, jahil. they asked Muhammad a question. Muhammad, yes, he went nah, to his God, his yeah, God, yeah, they are, they are, his, okay, his listen, God, Habibi, listen. so you are, Habibi, don't call me Habibi, I'm not you. okay, listen, listen, I'm Allah, listen. you're supposed to be Arab, you hold would on, know what the hell, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, listen, so when, 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 I, when I ask Allah, what is the spirit mean, he do not know to give me the answer, but you are the one who can give me what the soul is, okay. it's amazing, you are Allah, must be, because you Wait. know more than Allah, do you have the answer for the question they are asking there he in the knew. verse? Wait, wait, why are you being such a stupid retard, I'm telling you that, the I'm, I'm telling you they asked him about his soul and right they asked him specific things about the soul as an example right like they what? asked him what earth, wait wait hold on mm. so abdullah bin Mas'ud, mm. right and, and and some of the companions wanted him to ask him uh they wanted to ask him specific questions about the soul specific any yani, like uh questions that are only known for god so just to just to understand if god is saying that you know you are you are a mere human, and you cannot you know, accept this, this this form of knowledge. This is a this is knowledge of the uh, this is knowledge of the hidden. How does that mean? He's calling him stupid. He knows what the you, see, you, you know what even funny. You, wait, I, wait, 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 listen, I, I, listen. I hold you my know horses. What's even funny? When I hold my horses, horses waiting hold for on, you to give me the answer. answer. Hold on, yeah, you just repeat yeah, the same thing fine, again. So listen, they ask see, him the question, "What is the spirit?" They ask him, "Okay, listen." It, Wait, is ab- it is above their understanding. Well, this is why I'm asking the Allah, prophet. And this is why the prophet is okay. talking to his, okay. his God. Tayyip. So the Tayyip. prophet, he, he okay. told the, Allah, so he listened to the, the prophet. Start. Listen, I, I, I listen Habibi, just wait. Just give me a second. You claimed at the start that we don't know the meaning of you know? of. of of, okay. of, of the soul. You know? okay, Bukhari, know? when he writes, listen, man, hold on. I'm looking at Tafsir Kathir. When Bukhari, he wrote, when he recorded in his Tafsir of this ayah, so you, you see what's funny is Abdullah bin Mas'ud, he says, ask him about the ruh. He doesn't mm-hmm. say, uh, ask him about the meaning of ruh. Uh, ask him ask him about the meaning of the ruh. He doesn't say that. He says, ask him about the ruh. You cannot say linguistically, even in, in English, you, you cannot say, ask him about, about, about the ruh if you don't know the meaning of ruh, if you don't know what it is, right? So that's how we know that he knew the meaning of ruh. I don't know why you're being an idiot. Okay, I will go. You hold on. So when they asked your prophet the question, did he answer them? Or he refused to they, answer them? They asked him, they asked him, they, hold on. They asked him questions that are only known for God. How does that mean he doesn't know the meaning of the ruh? Are you, uh, okay, did he answer <laughs> them? Okay, here we go. Let's go to the hadith and everybody will laugh at you. You're a prophet. All when right, they ask ahead. him this question, he did not answer. I know the hadith. I know the hadith. It's literally in the. Okay. It's literally in so Bukhari. It says I'm looking at it. He did not okay. answer. Okay. Abdullah bin Mas'ud. Okay. Answer. I'm going to read it for you, Habibi. Why listen, he did listen, not Habib. answer? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Okay. Listen. I can read it out for you. So, uh, so the hadith says, "I was I was walking with a prophet on a farm, hmm. and um, and we were resting on a palm leaf stalk. Some hmm. Jews passed by." Some of them said to the others, ask him about the ruh. Hmm. Can I ask you now? Can I ask you about something that I don't even know what the meaning of it is? Well, he's a Jew. He knew. You're an idiot. He's, a, he's a Jew. The guy, he's a Jew. Okay. You're, you're How, an idiot. Wait, 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 so, wait, wait. So wait. The, the Jew, he knew. The Jew, he knew. Say, why does the hadith not say, wait, wait. You were saying the Jew knew. The Jew knew. I'm asking you now. Hmm. Why does the hadith not say, ask him about the meaning of ruh? They said, no, ask him about the ruh, meaning that they were going to ask him detailed questions. Like, I don't know. Listen, man, I am no one, right? I have barely any knowledge, and I can take you Muhammad on. Muhammad has, has been asked in your comment to, section, to question his knowledge. He claimed to be a prophet. Person. He claimed to be a prophet, a Jewish guy. He asked him a question. Your prophet, he have no answer. No, no, wait, listen, listen. They were going to ask him detailed questions. That's why it says, ask him about the ruh, not the meaning of ruh, right? That's not even... The so, hadith doesn't, so, guys, the when hadith, somebody asks me, yeah, yeah, what is the fine, ruh, okay. when somebody yeah. asks me, what is the ruh, he is mm-hmm. not asking about the meaning of ruh. No, no. It says, ask him about the ruh. 
Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, I, I, I want you, you to explain you, to me what they said to him. Listen, listen, guys, listen carefully. When they ask him about the ruh, they are not asking about the meaning. Why does he son? Wait, wait. Why does they are asking? Why does Isa? So what they are asking? Why does Jesus? Why does Jesus? Don't change the topic. What? What is? What is the? What is? Was the question is? What is the ruh? Right? What? What does that mean? Explain to me the question. Listen to me for a second, right? By this logic, when Jesus was asked about the hour, oh, oh, he, he didn't know. Subhanallah. We will he, see if he knows. Stupid. We will go there and people will laugh at you. Because Jesus Allah, in the same Allah, chapter, Allah. he told you when the hour was. It is okay, going to okay. be. And he said طيب, that my طيب. father only, because the only one who will announce it is the father. And now you are trying Allah, to change the topic. Don't tell Allah, me Allah, Allah okay. is, is an idiot. Look at this. So they asked Muhammad, what so, is yeah. the ruh? You, know, you see, even your prophet did not know anything. He did طيب. not know what ruh okay. means. So, if I, so, if so, I say to you, right, wait, wait, wait. you call me, where, where you call me to talk about the Trinity, correct? Yeah, you call me you talk, to talk about where, the Trinity. Where, where does it say that? Did yeah, you call Jahmi. me to talk about the Trinity? Did you call me to talk about Trinity? I told you to talk about the Trinity. And then you divert me. Do your prophet know what the Trinity is? How does that make any sense? Do your prophet know even the Trinity? What is the Trinity? You are no different from the Do your prophet know what is the Trinity? Of course he knows. If you want to talk about five, 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 one, sixteen, we can, we can go to that. But listen, I, to, I told no, you. Okay, to... let us go. Let us go there. Sh read All the right, verse listen, for me. Hold on, hold on. Just give me a second. Just read me the a verse second. for me. So, so look now so what you happened. Know what's Muhammad did not know. He did not know what he's talking about. When they ask him a question, you jahmi, you jahmi. When, when he, when they ask him a question, he have no idea. And even the <laughs> ruh he could not answer. And now we will show All you right. the ignorance of Muhammad regarding the Trinity. Tell me the Trinity in the Quran. Okay, so so just before we go to that, let's just you know make it clear that I asked you to talk about the Trinity and you divert to the soul and what the meaning of soul and all of this nonsense. Because you are not qualified to talk about anything. Because wherever we go, here we go. Muhammad do not know um, what the spirit, what the okay. soul. So you now, have no. You wait, mentioned wait, wait, wait. to me that you, that I, I, I don't see. You mentioned I don't to me see, that the Quran the knew the Trinity. What is the Trinity? What is the Trinity of Muhammad? What is the Trinity? I don't see where it says in the hadith, ask him about the meaning of the ruh. He says, ask them, ask him about the ruh. So since they knew the meaning of, of, of the ruh, they're not going to go and ask him what the hell it means because they already knew because they were Jews and they obviously they had knowledge, right? So, and, and the prophet, right? Let's say if, let's say if it was about the, the, the meaning of, of the ruh, right? Mm. Why, is it, why did the hadith not even mention that? Like this, I, I, I literally, I'm no one. Everyone knows who I am, like, especially on Discord. Bro, you thought Discord was a country, bro. Are you a retard? You thought this one was a country so, and literally. Okay, when, when Muhammad been asked, what is the spirit? Can you tell us what does that mean? Allah, okay. It, it, not, not what is the spirit? Ask him about the spirit. The, the questions that they asked him aren't even specified in the hadith, and you're claiming it means that he doesn't even know about the spirit and so the meaning. How, how Muhammad, he answered them without knowing what they mean? He didn't answer them. He literally didn't. He, he remained silent because, because he didn't want to talk about that. He's ignorant. Like, now I'm asking you a question. Wait, wait, you do not wait, know what to wait, say. Wait, wait. Does this the, is wait, a proof wait, that wait, Muhammad wait. is a wait. fraud. Why okay, a simple okay. question so, like this? Why Muhammad right is, away? Why Muhammad right away did not say to them the answer? Why so he if, could not answer? <laughs> yeah, you're off. That that. Why he could not answer? Yeah, you have the listen, idea. Listen, listen, hmm. listen. Listen, just one question. Are what? the questions why about... Muhammad could wait, wait, not answer? Please, the, I'm asking wait, you. Listen, why listen, Muhammad could just, not answer? Just one question. Just why one question. Why could not you answer? Had, I'm you asking had, you. Please. I will please, answer you. I will answer you. I will answer you. I will answer you. I will answer you. Yeah, okay. Yes, I will I will answer you. Right. So I'm asking you now, right? So are the questions and the hadith, right? Uh, uh, are the questions, because you're coming, he didn't know the meaning, right? They said, ask him about Tiruah. Uh, are the questions which they were supposed to ask and mention in the hadith? Yeah, the question is, what is the spirit? No, 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 no. The Jews, right? They, they, said, they said to each other, ask him about the Ruh. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Where is the question in the hadith regarding the Ruh? What do you mean? They are asking about the Ruh. Oh my God, the hadith in Bukhari, it says, ask him about the ruh, and then they proceeded to question each other why, and then they said, um, so then they said, ask him, so they asked him about the ruh. Where does it specifically mention the meaning and whatnot? As for that, which, you, which you're claiming. Where does it say that? It doesn't say that. Listen, yeah, 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 um, So tell me what it's they meant. Tell me what they meant then. We don't know. They had other questions. I so don't know the Are um, you saying to questions. me, are you saying to me that you Muslims after reading the Quran, you do not mm -hmm. know what was the question meaning, and you do not know what mentioned? the answer meaning, though, because how you can answer the question oh if you do not God, know what they mean? Jahil. Listen, it, it wasn't. It, it wasn't even mentioned in the hadith. You are you are the one who's the making question the question. Is what is wait, the wait, spirit? What is the, what okay. is the spirit? What is okay, the spirit? What is the spirit? So, okay, okay. what is the spirit? 
Uh, oh my God! If they were gonna ask him about the meaning, they wouldn't. They wouldn't have said ask him about the ruh. The questions aren't even put in the hadith. How are you claiming that? Forget doesn't know about the meaning. the meaning. I ask you now. I will ask you the same question. What is the spirit? What you get from that question? Uh, what were you saying again? Go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. I'm asking you. I will repeat the question that Jews they gave. What mm -hmm. is the spirit? All right. So, just to um, ask you, what what retarded translation are you reading again? This is your. I'm reading your retarded, retarded prophet words. Allahumma. Okay. So yeah. now listen, Habibi. You see, it says is all an ruh. Is all. You speak Arabic. Let me teach you Arabic. Yes, I'm Lebanese. Let me let me I'm, let I'm me I'm teach Arabic. Arabic. You are Lebanese. Yeah. You are Batatees. Yeah. You are Batatees. Yeah. Yeah. You are Batatees. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. Listen. فقالوا سألوه فسألوه عن الروح. You are a potato. Yes. So learn oh, okay, Arabic. Okay. okay. So, so listen, 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 Read the, read the narration what again. Is the spirit? Read the narration. That's what wait, wait. is the spirit? Read the, read the narration again in Arabic. Go ahead. I wanna I wanna hear you read it. No, the narration. I just said to you read what they said. Let me let me break one of my teeth <laughs> so we can be equal. Brother and sister, read for the narration. What narration? Listen, it says. That's the how it's. They say. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. What does that if mean? About the ma'na. Listen. If it was about the ma'na, they would they would have said. Uh, okay, right. uh, okay. Abdul, you are genius. You are genius. Okay, they ask طيب. him about the spirit. What does that mean? طيب. It means that they would ask him a question related to the spirit, not necessarily. This is the holy question. But... This is the holy question. There's no other oh question. Do you see more طيب. questions? This is the holy question. They would have asked him something related to the spirit. Why says عن الروح. عن الروح. Uh, There is uh, there is other question they ask beside this question. This is the only question they said. Tell us about the ruh. Bro, are you? <laughs> Tell us about the ruh. What is a ruh? They they say, oh my God, they were trying oh to Allah. seek hidden knowledge. Seeking hidden knowledge? Hidden, hidden from who? Oh my God. Hidden for God only to you know. Are you are the one yani, who said to me that the Jews, they deficient? knew. Okay, I'm asking you this now. Are you saying to me that none of you Muslim knows what the word spirit mean? All right. They didn't ask him, right? They didn't ask him about the meaning of the ruh. He doesn't say that. Hmm. Um, but ask me, says, ask me and, what and, is the spirit? And also, and, what and is also, the spirit? And, and also, what and also, is the spirit? What the, the is the question spirit? is not the question is not mentioned in the narration. But yeah, yeah, and it's, it's not okay. Hmm. So you see, what's interesting is I wasn't even interested in talking about this. Hmm. Yeah, we can talk about the Trinity if you want. We can keep on going about this. But I would prefer the Trinity, yeah, Habibi, because okay, let us go to the Trinity. See, let us go to the, let us go to the Trinity. Do your prophet Wait. even knows what? So now he do not know what a ruh. Why he do not know what Quran mean? He do not wait, know wait. what Qiyama what mean. So wait, now let us see. Do Muhammad knows what Trinity mean? Okay, okay. Ismaani, Allah, Habibi. No one is talking about the Quran now. We're talking about purely the Trinity. Yeah, we're going to use. Aqal. Are you saying to me, are you saying to me that we Christians, we prove that Allah is a fraud because the Trinity in the Quran is different from our Trinity? All right. Do you think every single verse about the Christians is, is related to the Orthodox and Christians or what? What Orthodox? All Christians, they believe in the same thing. Orthodox, Protestant. No, 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 no. Bar potato? Okay. 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 Let okay. me get you busted. Let me get you busted, potato. Does it say in the potato, Quran? Uh, does it say in the Quran, Ya Ahl al Kitab? طيب. So now, first of all, Bart Ehrman, right? I mean, you're saying Bart every single Ehrman, Christian. He got you busted. He said that the oh. Messiah, he was a crucified and he believed okay. that he is a okay. son of God. Why? 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 And he got you busted. Rich? So you Muslims, listen, listen, the listen. evil one of so, you, they brought an atheist wanna, to support okay. them, but okay, the atheist, okay. he gave listen, you a screwdriver. Listen, 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 listen. Abdul, listen. listen. You said so to me he was wanted, not talking to the Orthodox. You, you, you accepted to him. You, you accepted not talking to the You said to me the Quran did not mention the Orthodox. So I'm asking you what the Quran says, people of the book. He put so, in the book, which means all of them. Doesn't matter who they no, are. No, necessarily, no, no. Prove it. Prove it. Okay. So, who was the uh, prophet encountering again? Don't change. Who was the prophet talking to? Which which kind of Christians? The people of the book. Allah. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Mm. These people of the book. Did they all have the same beliefs? What? These people of the book were they all yani um, upon yani true Christianity or what? So you are saying to me you're stupid Allah. He considered all those are the I same, but they are not the same. 
Okay. When, when I say to you, when I say, oh, people of the book, I don't mean all of them. <laughs> Are you saying that? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> he is saying you, you that the on, people of the book, that's mean all of them. There's nobody keep left. Making, you keep nobody on making left. Nobody you. left. Nobody right. left. And those who believe in the book, and the book he's talking about specifically, is mm -hmm. those who believe in it and those who believe. That the Messiah, you are the one who mentioned to me the Trinity. What do you learn about Trinity? Okay, so, okay. Who is okay. the first so, one who taught so, you about the so Trinity? So who listen, is the first listen, one who taught you about can, the Trinity? I can tell you, I can tell you this. So, hmm. which, which, verse are you, which verse are you talking about? Are you which talking verse? about chapter 5? Which verse? Verse, verse number 4, verse, chapter verse. number 4, verse number 171. Okay, okay. So, which verse again? Sorry, go ahead. Chapter number 4, verse number 171. 171. 171. 171. No, 171. Wallahi, I don't think about it, but... Yeah, okay, read for us. Let us see how a prophet of God, you do not know what we believe. Okay. Mm. You said one, 171, right? Mm. Okay. O oh, people of the book, do not go to extremes regarding your faith. Say nothing about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, the son of Mary, was no more than a messenger of Allah and the fulfillment of his of His word through Mary and, and, and his spirit created by a command from him. So believe in Allah and his and his messengers. I do not say Trinity stop for your own good. Allah is only one God. Mm. Glory be to Him. He is far above having a son. Mm. To Him belongs whatever is in the heavens and the uh, okay. Uh, طيب. Okay. What's the issue? So what is the Trinity? طيب. What do you mean? It's it's it, 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 Oh my God! It doesn't describe the Trinity. Okay. It's, does the Quran describe that Mary is part of the Trinity? <sighs> yes, because it, it it addresses a specific group of of the Christians. But the Quran says people of the book. Yes, but he was. Yes, but he, but he was encountering. But those are not Christians then, because the Christians is those who according believe in the Trinity. Uh, Christians, uh, Christians, Christians Beteto is the they, one they, who they, believe they, in the Trinity. Trinity. The Trinity is they, not Mary. Wait, wait. A, a Trinity consists of three hypostases. It's not necessary for them to be Jesus, right? In them. What? What does that mean? Is Mary part of the Trinity? <laughs> Some heretics that believe that. Is Mary part of the Trinity? <laughs> for the Orthodox Christians, no. Simple as that. For Orthodox, only Orthodox, for all Christians, no, there's no Christian believe that. Mary. No, because historically, uh, in the in the in, in early Christianity, they had a bombardment of of the theology. So none of them, that none of them. That's that's false. None of them believe that Mary okay. she was God. Mm -hmm. None of them. Mm -hmm. Secondly, when your God he says the Trinity and he consider Mary part of the Trinity, who is the second person? Mm -hmm. Who is the second person? Like you're talking about uh, Shuf. Who is the second person in the Trinity? In the Trinity, according to the Quran, who is the second person? Mary. Well, Mary, okay. Who, who is the first person? Isa, according to you. Who is the third person? Your, your false God. Okay, guys, remember this. Your false God. You just said that. So you are just insulting your God because according to the Quran, it mm -hmm. says that the Christians, they say, that the Messiah is Allah, and you called Allah false God, right? No, no, I'm, I'm calling the whole essence of the Father. To well, be you are the one, the but look, look what happened now. I asked you, so now let us go back to zero and try to behave. Mm -hmm. Because already you have, you lost many teeth. So listen, <laughs> listen. So Please. is Allah in the Quran is part of the Trinity or not? He negates it, but some would claim that he is. Listen to the question. Is he part of the Trinity, yes or no? So the thing is, when you're asking me this, it would incline to me is believing he part that he is. Of the Trinity? So I'm saying that is he wait, wait, wait. I'm asking you according saying, to the Quran. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm yeah, asking yeah, you according hold on, hold on. to the Quran. Is Allah is part of the Trinity? <laughs> so just to confirm, right? Are you trying to make me believe in the Trinity? I'm not yeah, trying to make you believe anything. Like, you, you so know, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm it's telling hard to you make a turtle in the sky. She's very slow. I'm asking you, oh is Allah according to the Quran part of the Trinity? Why the question is so hard? You see, listen, hold on, just give me a second. You see what's interesting is, when I wanted to talk to you about the Trinity, I would want to, I, I wanted to Don't go Don't change the topic. Theology. Is Allah part of the Trinity? How is this? Is wait, Allah wait, wait. part you of the Trinity? Want, you see, you, you are talking to Christian Prince. Things. He will grab you from your tail and tell you answer. Is Allah part of the Trinity? Some Christians would claim that. I'm not, this is not a question. Is Allah part of the Trinity, according to the Quran? Some Christians would claim that. What some? What do we mean some? Where is the some? So some heretics, I can, I can, I can, I can name them for you. Okay. Uh, so not all the Christians they say that. Yeah, yeah they were specifically a, a, a group in and in Arabia. Okay, we, we will go with you and prove that Muhammad again is a fraud because the Quran says that the Nasara says so and the Jews they say so. He did not say some, and you are okay. now fabricating Quran. 
So does the Quran let us read together and everybody will laugh at you. Here we go. This is the verse in front of us, chapter 9, verse number 30. It says, the Jews, they say, either Ezra or Uzair, not Ezra, there's no Ezra. The son of Allah. And the Christian, they say, the Messiah is the son of Allah. doesn't say the Christian or say some of the Christians. Okay, perfect. So let's see. So some scholars, some Muslim scholars, they found a basis for this claim that some Jews actually considered him to be the son of God. In a Jewish work, some Jews, they found that? Some Jews. Some Jews, no. So can you name name? It, it, can you name? Jewish, can you name? What mm -hmm. do you mean? Why it says why you Muslim fabricate the Quran? Does it say the Jews or you, say okay. some of the Jews? We, we, we can go to Sirah told them. We can go to Sirah. So are Hashem. you saying to me your God Allah he used a wrong Arabic when he says the Jews? Because that does not make the Jews. So the that Jews make, that he was encountering listen, said that. If somebody believe in something the Jews don't believe in, okay. that will not make so, him a Jew. So, so, so okay, just to show just, you what your stupid, okay, just, what your okay, God, okay. how stupid everyone your God is, is. As an example, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like you. Okay. When people, so we when there is a group of people, oh, wait, they say, wait, when they say 40, that Jesus, Jesus is an angel, those are Jehovah's Witnesses. Those are the mm. Christians. We don't say they are Christians. Okay. Oh, when some people they say that Joseph Smith is, you know, he's a prophet and they call themselves a Christian, they are not Christian. They are Mormon. I'm asking you now, when Allah, he said the Jews, did he make a mistake in Arabic? He should not say the Jews, because not no. all the Jews. Now, let's see, because we were told by the, uh, so, okay, oh my God, I, I was about to read the whole Islam, okay. So, it was narrated on the authority of Ibn Abbas, that the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, came upon some Jews. I can name them for you, but it's it's not really relevant, because it's like hmm. one, two, three, four people. Hmm. It's, uh, but yeah, so they said, how can we follow you when we have left our Qibla? And you do not claim that Uzair is the son of God. So it was revealed that from their saying, and the Jews said that the messenger is the son of God, uh, 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 that Uzair is the son of God, and the Christians said that the Messiah is, is the son of God. So, mm. Right. So now, but this is the first thing. So also, so as I was reading, before you interrupted me, because you're a dog of hell, right? So in a Jewish work entitled The Fourth Book of Ezra, right, which had not been included in the Hebrew Bible, but uh, but which rabbi where, still, we, where we can find this book you are saying the, the, where okay. we can find the book it says Ezra is a, a messenger or okay, is the wait. son of Allah so you see when I'm reading something you you have to be you quiet you're a stupid you donkey to... there's a guy his name is Tuweba <laughs> Singer the Muslim they worship him he have a video saying we never okay. saw ever ever in any place in any books of and, the and Jewish scriptures or even the Magdash this? or even the rabbis any book said, says that the Jews ever worship a guy, his name is Uzair. And this is your friend. And, and who to said weave this? a who singer. Said to weave a singer. Very well known, Allah. Rabbi. And you, and you Muslim, you love him. You worship him. So listen, he got hujja. you busted. Okay. I can't play the video for you this right now. Never, okay, ever, is, ever. They have okay. anywhere, so, anyone who this says is, this that. Is the best nah, nah, so this listen. Is the okay, so now I'm asking <laughs> you. I'm asking you. When <laughs> Allah, he says, if there is only one Jew, according to you, believe in that. How in the world Allah, he says, only the Jew says? Because they were Jews. There you go. He's a he's a one person. You say it. No, there was one. No, are you are you stupid? It wasn't okay, one person. Okay, show me the reference. <laughs> it is uh, Sirat Ibn Hisham. Ibn Hisham, not Hisham. Ibn Hisham. Oh my God. <laughs> you're trying. To, you're trying to. You're trying to teach me Arabic, but you could not count to ten. But okay. Okay. Sirat Ibn Hisham. Uh, okay. Volume two, page one, uh, two hundred and nineteen. Okay. Let me open it. Read for us. Go ahead in Arabic. I'm, I'm not looking at the stream. Not looking at the stream. So what are you reading? Hmm? What, 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 what do you mean? What, you, you know, I'm calling you over Skype. You, you know, you know that you know Ibn Hisham by heart. You do not know where to find it. No, I, no, no, no. I, I didn't say that. Okay. The reference, because I already knew that this was an argument that was brought up, so I already had the reference. What do you mean? Already had the reference? Oh my! I already had the reference beforehand. Okay, uh, uh, read it for me. I gave you the reference. You can search it up. I'm doing something meanwhile while we're talking. No, no, why you don't read it? Read it. Read, read the reference. Are you mentally unstable? I'm asking so, you to read the reference okay. for me. Yeah. So the thing is this, yeah, yeah, Christian prince, right? I don't like this type of behavior because when I come into this chat, right, and I'm, ta I'm, and I'm telling you that we should talk about the Trinity, let's talk about the Trinity. Mm. You are talking I, about I, Trinity I, I, now. We are talking about Trinity for God. No, no, no. We're no, we're not because the Trinity it doesn't it isn't revealed about the Quran, right? It's not the Trinity. 
There's not there's not revolt about that. Maybe we can talk about no, some, we, some... because it, the one who want to talk about the Trinity first, he have to be qualified to understand the Trinity before he talk about it and debate about wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. So you wait, you have a God. And, how and look do what I happened. know? Look what how do you know from? How do you know if I'm qualified or not? Without even Allah is not qualified. So how we can be qualified? You are following a Allah? stupid God. Okay. So let, okay, listen, okay. This is, you, this is this is your I level of you, apologetics. Did I asked you who is the first one? You said to me Jesus. I said who is the second one? You said Mary. I said, who is the third one? Who? Who is the third one? Oh, Muhammad. Okay. Who is so, the, who is the third listen, one listen, in the Trinity? Listen, listen, who is the third one? Who is the third yeah, one? Yeah, in the, who yeah, is yeah, the third yeah, one yeah, in the Trinity? Answer. Who is the third one? Okay. So, let's, 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 let's go to John. Let's go to John. Let's go to John. Who is the third one in the Trinity? Bro, that's irrelevant. The, the, who the Trinity, is the third one in the Trinity? The Trinity does not revolve. The, hold on. Who is the third one according to the Quran and the Trinity? So if I use my Quran as a hujja against your Trinity, you're going to no, cry. I'm using it against you, not against me. Are you are you stupid? I'm asking yeah, you before yeah, you speak yeah, about yeah, my yeah, Trinity. Yeah, 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 obviously, yeah. you don't understand the Trinity this, because this you are following thing. Muhammad. So I'm asking you. Listen, 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 if, hold on, yeah, is hold Jesus, on, yeah, yeah, listen, is Jesus yeah, in the Quran? Is, he, I came in here to is Jesus the in the Quran the Son of God or He is God? According God, to the Quran, to... is Jesus in the Quran the Son of God this or He is, is God? Thank you, Christian Prince. I came and in, in, let me make it more simple, it, potato. It, it, you are a potato trying related. to avoid the question: okay. Is Jesus is Christian... Allah or the Son of Allah? Did there see? Wait, wait. Hold is Jesus there... the Son of Allah or Allah? Wait, Habibi. Wait, wait. Is Did Jesus the... the Son of Allah or Allah? We're not polytheists, so we say that. I'm asking Allah. you the question according to the Quran. Wait, wait. No, is Jesus the son of Allah? Listen, or listen, Allah? listen, 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 yeah, Habibi, listen. I'm telling you that. So I will when, not I, when I came into you, it was, it was not in any, was not in any you, way. You should know but, me by okay. now. Did the okay. Christians, I want, the, Christians, I want an answer. Did the if is Jesus the Christians in the Quran? Did the Christians use the Quran they, to make the. Abdul, wait, wait, wait. The Christians in the Quran, the do they, do they believe that Jesus is Allah or do they believe that Jesus is the son of Allah? Wait, listen, listen. We don't force me to hang you. up on you. I'm repeating the question for the last you 20 times, please. I don't care. I'm asking you, please. Friendly. Play it. Is Jesus, mm -hmm. no. according to the Quran, we Christian, talking about us, do we believe that Jesus is Allah or he is son of Allah? Bro, listen, listen. The Christians did not make their trinity based on the Quran. This is so not the question. This is not the question. Is, Wait, I, I don't care. I don't Christian, care about Are we as I, a I Christian? Don't care. I, I are don't we care. as a Christian, according to the Quran? Believe mm -hmm. that Jesus is Allah or the Son of Allah, bro. You do understand that this is two different topics. I'm telling this is you, this the topic, the Trinity. Okay, okay, okay. Let's so, uh -huh. okay, are you going to answer me, please? Is Jesus this is, this is the Trinity? Did we this Christian, is the Trinity did we in Christian you, you're trying to prove that we the Christian Trinity believe the... that like Jesus God. is Allah or he is the Son of Allah? Bro, you are literally being so stupid. I'm telling you, so that... you are refusing to answer because you, you know that your prophet is because... making people. No, no, listen, well, I'm give, refusing. Give me the answer wait. then. Give me okay, the answer. Christian Prince. So, Christian is the Prince. Christian wait, believe, listen, listen. Do the Christian believe that Jesus is Allah or the Son of Allah? Listen, listen. So, I'm listening. you see, so, first of all, the Trinity is not revolved about the Quran. This is not the I question. To talk about the Quran. Hold question. on, hold on, hold on. You are listen. a coward. You are running away. You are, I, you I am a coward. You have okay. a stupid so prophet who does not know what he's talking about. Is the son eternally? You are trying to cover his people. Is the son trying to cover his people? You are trying to cover his people. Let me ask does you the, the question for the safety? last time. This is does a warning, Abdul. People safety? are laughing at you. Listen, because I will continue, if I hang up safety? on you, I will continue exposing your prophet even if you don't right. answer. So, Expose I'm okay. asking you, is is the Christian, according to the Quran, believe that Jesus, the Messiah, is the son of Allah or is Allah? So, you see, you would believe that Jesus is God, but he, at the same time, he's the son of God because he has... The, this is not the question. This is not the question. This is not oh the question. Listen. Oh is Jesus the son of Allah or he is Allah? <laughs> so if you're talking about the, the, the Allah whom I believe in, no, he's not. But, okay. But this is not the question you stupid. I'm asking. What? The Quran says about us. The Quran is speaking about us. The Quran says that according to the Quran, are we people who believe that Jesus is the son of Allah or we believe that Jesus is Allah? You would give him the, you would ascribe him to the, the attribute of, of a deity, but... This is another question. Uh, oh not, this not is another safety, question, I mean. Potato. Okay. But listen, let's read. Now listen, I, I just, I just want to read John. Wait, wait. Listen, I Potato. Just wanna, listen, I just Potatoes. Want to read. You, know, you are just, just a stupid. Read. I repeat the question a hundred times. You are a certified donkey. And then they say to me, be patient. The question is very simple. According to Islam, do the Christian believe that Jesus is Allah or he is the son of Allah? 
I will call you one more time. Give you a chance to answer, because I lost my voice. Very simple. According to the Quran, are we people who believe that Jesus is Allah, or we believe he's the son of Allah? I will call you one more time. Are you going to answer, my friend? <laughs> yeah, Christian Prince. Okay, is so, Allah... I, I, I will answer by reading okay. you one verse, okay? okay? Okay, read. Okay, so let's go to John 17. Uh, see, here we go, the coward. Mm, potato. Yes, yes. Yeah, get lost. John. It's, the Muslim, they don't even know their book. They know our book. They are the one who will teach us our, our, our book. Can you believe it? They can't even read their book. 